Boop that like button if you love cookies. In this video. Look, this new work position that I have, honey, it means I have to do some overnights out of town. And I don't think you should stay here all alone. Fun. Hmm, let me see. Oh, my friends Molly and Daisy are here. <laughs> Wait till you meet them. They're amazing. Great. More kids for me to boss around. <laughs> <laughs> what I found in the bathroom. What? What is that? It's Kim's diary. And look at this. What? She was bullied? Uh-oh. Oh. Loser, loser. You're definitely going to have pizza stuck in your braces. I guess, I guess I'll just go to the bathroom and hide and eat my pizza. Someday, I'm going to be the baddie and no one will mess with me. Hey, Mom. You wanted to see me? Yeah, honey. Uh, we need to talk. I think you should probably get off your phone. Okay, I'm just finishing up this text to Molly. <laughs> What's up? Well, I didn't want to have to do this. You know I hate working more, but... Uh -oh. oh! Don't tell me. You and Dad are going to be gone even more than you already are? Mom! I'm sorry, honey, but we as grown-ups sometimes have to do what we need to do to, well, make sure you have a house and food and clothes and... But Mom, I miss you guys. <gasps> I know, honey. That's why I hired someone new to spend some time with you. Her name is Kim, and she seems really nice. She's going to be your new nanny. Nanny, Mom, I'm too grown up for that. Look, this new work position that I have, honey, it means I have to do some overnights out of town. And I don't think you should stay here all alone. Well, my brothers are still going to be here. They have sports, honey. They have a lot of stuff going on. Come on. You guys need to have a nanny. Fine. I guess I'll give Kim the chance she deserves. Thanks so much, honey. She should be here any minute. Mom, you're saying tonight she's starting? Huh? But mom, my friends, Molly and Daisy, they're supposed to be having a sleepover with me tonight? Oh, no. Maybe we need to cancel it this time. Cancel it this time. What? What? No, Mom. You've been promising me, th promising me this sleepover for, for like two months. We can't cancel it. They're they're already coming. All right, honey. I'm sure Kim will be fine with it. I'll let her know, okay? Okay, thanks, Mom. I really am going to miss you while you're out of town at work. I'll miss you too, sweetie. I'll miss you too. Oh, she's here now. I'm sure you're going to love her, honey. Wow, Kim, you seem pretty nice. You seem nice too, Brookie. So we're going to have a great time, right? See you later, everybody. Have fun. Bye, Mom. Bye. We'll be fine. So, Kim, what do you like to do for fun? Fun? Mm, let me see. Oh, my friends Molly and Daisy are here. <laughs> Wait till you meet them. They're amazing. Great. More kids for me to boss around. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, Daisy, hi, come on in. Hey, Brookie, I brought a big bag of Doritos, your favorite. Aw, thanks. Dad brought so many clothes for us to try on. We could do like dress to impress if you want. Ooh, fun. Kids, where are you? Oh, yeah, I didn't have time to text you, but... My mom hired a nanny. Uh -oh. What? Well, where's your mom? And your dad? They both had to go away for the week for for work. Oh, wow. Brookie, I'm sorry. That must make you really sad. Yeah, I'm going to miss them, but my new nanny seems really nice. Let's go meet her. She's probably awesome. Wow. La, 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 la. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to run into you. Whatever, kid. Watch where you're going. Oh. What did you say about her being nice? Oh, <laughs> you probably just ran into her and that probably hurt. Um, I think we got off on the wrong foot here. So I'm going to offer you some of my Doritos. But only after I've eaten some. Molly! <laughs> Sorry, Brookie. I, here, you can have them. At least some of them. But not all of them. I don't want your gross Doritos. <gasps> Whoa, Kim. What's wrong with you? I don't really like kids. 
So you're going to make this week not annoying. That's it. I'm going home. What? No. We can't leave Brookie here with this crazy lady. But Molly, seriously, I'm not leaving her here alone. She's my best friend, and this lady is psycho. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just being a little grumpy. Seems that I'm um, really needing something to eat. When I get hungry, I get hangry. How about I go make us all a delicious cake? Wow. Well, um... Okay, Kim, you're forgiven. You can make us a cake. Great. <laughs> I'll be just down baking it. You girls stay right here. Whoa, what's her deal? She seems like De Mr. Jekyll and... What is it? Jekyll and Hyde? Yeah, that's it. Where Dr. Jekyll is, like, super nice, but then when he turns into Mr. Hyde, he's psycho! Ah! Oh, maybe she's just a little nervous because it is her first day on the job. Yeah, maybe. Come on, let's eat some Doritos. Honey, we're going to eat cake in a minute. Yes, yeah, so Doritos and cake go perfect together. So what did Luke say when you said that you wanted to go to the dance with him? <gasps> um, he said he'd think about it. Ow! Whoa, Molly! Well, that's not a no. Well, it's not exactly a yes either. Well, it's close to a yes. A think about it is, I really like you, but I don't know how to tell you. That's true, Molly. That's exactly what that could mean. Girls, come on down here, please. Okay, let's stop eating the Doritos and go eat some cake. <coughs> Sounds delicious. La, 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 gonna eat some cake. You'd think I'd have a stomach ache, but no. Literally, I have a stomach like a goat. I can eat tin cans and I don't get a stomach ache. <laughs> Ooh, yummy cake. I know. Doesn't this look delicious? It's the last slice. The last slice, but you baked a whole cake. Where's the rest? Did you burn it? No, I ate it. This last slice, though, looks so good. Well, I guess we could split it since you ate the rest, Piggy. What? What did you call me? She's just kidding. She calls me that, too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying you ate a whole cake by yourself. Yeah, and I'm about to eat this last slice right in front of you. Wait, what? You're kidding, right? No. So. Not. <laughs> okay, lady. That is rude. Why would you do that? You know what? You're a brat. You're the biggest brat of you three. I think you should go plunge the toilet. Why do I need to plunge the toilet? Uh, Molly, I thought that was obvious. She ate an entire cake by herself. Obviously, she plugged the toilet. Ugh. Well, they don't have a plunger at Brookie's house, so I guess this vacuum will have to suck it out. Ew, gross. Hey, what's that on the counter? Does that say diary? <gasps> it's Kim's diary. She must have left it in here when she was plugging the toilet. I know it's not nice to read somebody's diary, but I'm totally gonna. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <gasps> No wonder she's evil. Keep counting. You have to brush my hair a thousand times. Get it right. Okay, so we, um, how was it? 457, 458. Okay, um, can I see you in the other room? Sure, Molly, what is it? I have to tell you something. Come on. I'm down into the basement. Oh. <gasps> This is amazing! Oh, yeah, you haven't seen my house since we had the pool put in? No, it's amazing! Too bad your parents have to work so hard to pay for it. I know. They're never home. I would have rather they be home than have this big pool. I know. I'm sorry, Brookie. Anyway, I have to tell you what I found in the bathroom. What? What is that? It's Kim's diary! And look at this! What? She was bullied? Uh-oh! Oh, that explains a lot. Oh, my God. Heather, Hannah, you guys wear the same shirt. That's such a loser move. What? Hannah, I told you I was wearing this sweater today. Whatever. You should go change. Or you can't be in our group anymore. Uh-oh! What? No, this is... I got this sweater first. You go change. If you want to be a baddie like us and stay in our group, I suggest you go home and change your shirt right now. 
You can't copy another baddie. That makes you a loser. Fine! <gasps> Is this better, baddies? Yeah, you look super adorable. You can be in our club. Thanks. Well, 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 look who it is. Kimmy, 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 the loser. Uh-oh. Hey, guys, um, I was wondering, could I maybe be a part of your baddie club? <laughs> is she for real? Listen, shorty, I don't think so. We don't let losers into our baddie club. Oh, well, um, I could be baddie. <laughs> look at my outfit today. Super baddie, right? <laughs> you have braces. Loser. You have ugly clothes. Loser. You're super short and weird looking. Loser. Um, okay. Well, I guess I don't have to be. <laughs> bye, loser. Yeah, bye. Cry like a baby. Cry, cry, cry. Oh, look who it is. The loser's back. Oh, hey, guys. Um, Look, it's pizza day. Ew, pizza. The only thing I have for lunch is my double latte. And I have a Diet Coke, duh. But the pizza's delicious. Whatever, loser, loser. You're definitely gonna have pizza stuck in your braces. I guess, I guess I'll just go to the bathroom and hide and eat my pizza. Someday, I'm gonna be the baddie. No one will mess with me. OMG, she was bullied by a group of baddies. I know, maybe we can try to talk some sense into her. Explain to her that we're good people. We're not baddies, we're not villains. Especially not in her story. Come on, Brookie, I think this might work. I don't know, Molly, she seems kind of. Where have you two been? Um, look, Kim, uh, I know that you were, well, probably bullied. What? Why would you say that? Did you read my diary? Uh-oh, that backfired. Uh, Molly, what should we do now? Uh, uh, uh. That's it. You three are going to see what kind of baddie I really am. <laughs> and you three can think about what you did. You can't just lock us up in here. Hey! Hey! It's no use, Molly. Well, I think it's safe to say that your new nanny is completely and utterly psycho. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Okay, your nanny is psycho. Your nanny is crazy. Your nanny is bonkers! Oh, no. What are we going to do? Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Wait for your mom. But don't worry. I brought these Doritos. Molly... What? I'm always thinking of my stomach. Cranberry stuck in prison would just drool. Have to have something delicious. Well, I guess there's a party in here. But Molly! No eating bean burritos! You stick the whole cell up. Don't worry. I didn't put any bean burritos in my pocket. <laughs> oh, man. How did I get stuck with this baddie nanny? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love Spongebob. It is pretty cute, I have to say. Where did you get it? I might want one. Uh, Daisy, get out of the road. Here comes a car. Oh, look. It's two losers. Hey, you ran over a soccer ball. Rude. OMG. That was so rude. Whatever, losers. <laughs> You'll never be a baddie like me. <laughs> Um, why would we want to be bad? That's, that's not very nice. Being good is nice. Oh, uh, whatever with your stupid SpongeBob t-shirt <gasps> and your silly clothes and your silly faces. Ooh. Whoa, she's rude. See you later, losers. Bye. Oh my God. Daisy, what are we going to do? I don't want to be a loser. We are going to become baddies. Uh, I don't know about that. You know I'm not really into fashion and all that. Maddie, just try, okay? We need to fit in in Brookhaven, all right? All right, um, 
Okay, um, yeah, all of my nerd shirts are pretty much not gonna work then. But look how adorable it is. Maddie, enough of the nerd shirts. Okay, let me type in baddie. I wanna see what comes up. No results found? Yeah, Maddie, being a baddie means you have to figure it out for yourself. All right, maybe I should start with a face because, um, I feel like the face is better than... Look at my shirt, though. I look so cute as a, as a nerd. Maddie, which way to be a baddie's heel? Ah! Guys, I literally just put mean girl into the search and um, everything I was looking for just came up. So what's that say about being a baddie, guys? Um, that they're mean? All right. Look at this face, guys. Oh, I have, do I have to buy it? I think I have to buy it. $65 to be a baddie? Okay, worth it. Totally worth it. Here we go, guys. Now I'm gonna have the bad face. Oh my gosh! Buddy! He looks so different. Jesus, what's going on with your hair right there? That's really weird. You should usually get rid of that hair for sure. Alright, guys. Now I'm gonna go in and get some batty hair. Let's get, oh, first I have to remove my other hair. Do not laugh at me, guys. Okay, don't laugh at me! <laughs> um, okay. Can I put in like mean girl hair? I'm gonna try it. Mean girl hair. Oh, we came up with stuff, guys. Like, look at this one. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, I know for a fact that um, baddies definitely have to have giant eyelashes. I know because I've seen the girls at my school wearing these giant eyelashes. They're very important. Oh, God. Why did I say I was going to be a baddie with Molly? This is, like, such a bad idea. Um, It's a great idea. And look at my eyelashes. They're going to be amazing. Wow. All right, guys, let's try these ones. They're like giant. What? Why are they coming out of my eyebrows? Okay, that is weird. Let's try again. They're all coming out of my eyebrows. I may have to not have the eyelashes just because I don't know why, but they just look like really weird. <laughs> this isn't even over my eyes. Weird. Ooh, let's try this one. No, none of them work. Okay. Eyelashes are beautiful, just as they are, so whatever. I'm a good enough baddie. And if you don't think so, well, then you're not cool, and I am. All right, let's put in, like, mean girl outfits. Mean girl outfits and see what comes up. Good thing you can cheat at this and, like, put in mean girl outfits. You don't have to, like, know yourself. Like, some of these are ridiculous. This is, like, the Grinch. Like, look at this. <laughs> you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Anyway... Um, why is that not clicking off? Oh, God, now I'm stuck wearing the Grinch outfit. Ooh. Seriously? No. No, no, and no. I need a baddie outfit. What's this one say? So fetch. <laughs> Old school. Um, all right, so I'm still looking for the best baddie outfit ever. Dizzy, I don't think that's the best baddie outfit. What do you know about being a baddie? Um, I'm pretty bad every time I don't do my homework, and that's, like, always, so, I don't know. I think I look adorable, though. Um, but what about, like, oh, my God, look, there's a book, there's a shirt that has burn book on it. Oh, that is so cool. Still not what I'm going to wear, though. Buddy, you take it forever. Okay, everybody, we're going to speed this up. <laughs> this molly uh you look like a goth girl but i guess that's okay i mean you look kind of bad <gasps> but also baddie is just like my look i look amazing i'm just saying whoa molly is all of a sudden like totally full of herself she thinks she looks amazing uh i do so the first thing we need to do is have a car well molly we don't have a car just bicycles then i suggest that we borrow mom or dad's because uh yeah we need a car let's go ask dad hey who are you and where's my pizza uh, if you're from DoorDash, then you forgot my pizza. Uh, Dad, no, it's me, Molly. And to be Daisy. What? But, but you're my little girls. Where are my little girls at? Dad, we're dressed up as baddies. Wow. Dad? Dad? Oh, my God, that made him disappear. It freaked him out so much. No, I'm right here, spasming on the floor. You used to be little babies just yesterday. <sighs> 
I have a good idea. Let's make Dad up like a baddie. What? No, that's weird. No, it's not. Let's do it. Dad, you want a baddie makeover? Um. Ha <laughs> ha! Dad, no choice. You're doing it. Oh, no. This is gonna go badly. Ow! <laughs> Dad, that's so you. Um. Ah! Dad, would now be a good time to ask you if we can borrow the car? If it means I can get out of these tight shorts, sure, and wipe this makeup off my face. Okay, Dad, fine. Um, ah! The washcloths are in the bathroom. There's some makeup remover in there. See you later. Come on, Patty Kitty. I'm in. Let's go. What are we going to do first? Well, the first thing we're going to do is go shopping because isn't that what baddies do? Yeah, but we have no money. What are we going to do about that? Um, we're going to go to the bank and rob it. We're baddies. Turn around. Maggie! What? It's just Roblox. Come on. Live a little. OMG! Molly is about to go rob a bank. Molly? No. Molly and Daisy are about to go rob a bank. Now let's go. Daisy, put the pedal to the metal. This is a sports car, not a granny car. Sorry, Molly. She was your bossy as a baddie. <laughs> Let's go blow up the safe. Now, where is that explosive that I was going to use to open this door? Why did I forget my backpack? I guess baddies don't carry backpacks. Molly, we could just use the key card to open the door. Where'd you get that? I stole it out of the desk. Hey, you didn't let me in. There you go, cheapos. All right, can we use that to actually open this? Um, not really sure. I've never robbed a bank before. Let's try it. Nah, we're going to have to blow this part up. Kaboom! Uh, Molly, I think we should probably stand back. Holy guacamole! We're going to blow up the safe. This is going to be amazing. Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I just robbed stacks of cash! Molly, get in before the police get here. I'm such a baddie, they can't even catch me. Daisy, what are you doing? You're the driver. Hurry up before we get caught. We're so bad that we're going to drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh, wow. That's super great. We'll get in a car crash, and then we can't be baddies anymore. Oh, whatever, Molly. So, should we go shopping, or should we just be, like, rude to people? Isn't that what a baddie does? I say we try being rude to people, but I don't know. I'm pretty nice, so probably we can. Let's go into the library and pick our nerds. <gasps> yeah, that's what baddies do. Look at all my money. Look at, look at my lipstick. Look how rude I am. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. I don't actually know if I can, like, say that because normally I wear a SpongeBob t-shirt and, like, this feels so out of my personality. But here we go. <laughs> Hi, you want to read a book with me? Uh, want to, um, not be such a nerd? Was that a good insult? Yeah, Molly. Look at all our cash. We're rich baddies. <laughs> That's cool, but do you want to read a book with me? What are you, a robot? Is that all you know how to say? Sorry, you guys are just so pretty that I can't even think straight. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. We are so pretty. <laughs> Molly? Sorry. <laughs> this baddie had a bean burrito for lunch. Molly, baddies don't fart. Um, correction. Everybody farts. Right, nerd? That's right! It's a human being thing! Everybody farts! <laughs> you seem like a dream girl to me! I like bean burritos! Oh, you smell a little bad, though! <laughs> Not a chance! You couldn't get with me, nerd! I'm amazing! And I'm a baddie! I'm a baddie! Come on, Daisy, leave the nerd alone! Come on, Daisy, let's go get some Starbucks! Um, baddies always drink Starbucks, and um, they get an extra... Um, large latte, and it's so good because they get extra foam on the top. Yeah, that sounds delicious. We have so many stacks of cash, we could buy a thousand of these. Well, 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 what do we have here? <gasps> what? Baddie competition? I don't think so. I'm the biggest baddie in Brookhaven. Not anymore, Steph. Now I'm the biggest baddie. Wait a minute, am I... A baddie to you or not? Yeah, you could be a baddie, but wait a minute. You, Molly and Daisy, the losers? You were wearing a SpongeBob t-shirt earlier today. 
Where did you get this makeover? It's called Roblox. You can be anybody you want. And right now, I'm a baddie. Look at my hair. Look at my face. Look at my eyelashes. Look at my lips. Look at my outfit. Look at my car. Look at my money. I'm way baddier than you. Uh, Molly, I don't think that's the way English. Stop sounding like a nerd there, nerdy baddie. <gasps> Molly, how dare you say that to me? Uh-oh, this is going to be a baddie fight. Oh, no, here he goes again. <laughs> Will you go out with me? I don't mind farts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are real baddies. The school nerd is, like, wanting to date you. Well, Molly, he sounds like your soulmate. Oh. Daisy, be quiet. He doesn't sound like my soulmate. No, we're, we're get out of here. We're not dating. You're so dreamy, buddy. Um, no, 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 and no. Ah! Oh! I don't think you're a baddie at all. Looks like all the nerds love you. Well, maybe we should have a competition to see who's the baddiest of all. <gasps> uh, Molly, I'm pretty sure that Steph's gonna win. We'll find out. We'll find out. Do you think I'm an awesome baddie? Let's see what they say. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they say. Hello? What do you think? Am I an awesome baddie or not? Ha ha ha. Uh, no. What? Uh, but I look amazing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> One point for me. What do you think? Do you think I'm an awesome baddie? Okay, she doesn't care. All right, let's go ask other people in Brickhaven if they think I look like an awesome baddie. Uh, I don't know what you got going on there, girl, but okay, here we go. Um, am I an awesome baddie? I mean, I know you got wings and stuff, so you're cooler than I am, but here we go. Am I an awesome baddie? Hey, where you going? We're still talking. Okay, let me go ask them. Am I an awesome baddie? <laughs> Come on, answer me, please. Am I an awesome baddie? I need to prove to this um bully that I'm actually an awesome baddie. Anybody? Anybody answering? They think you're a loser. That's not what they're answering. Look at this girl. She looks like another baddie, so I'm going to go ring her doorbell. I'm going to ask her if she thinks I'm an awesome baddie. Hello? Is anybody home? I need you to prove that I'm an awesome baddie. Okay, I'm not sure anybody's home there. Um, Let's go down the street and see if there's anybody else home that I can ask them. I'm going to ask you one last time. Am I an awesome baddie? Come on, you better answer. There, whatever you are, fairy. Um, just answer. <laughs> she thinks you're a loser. She doesn't want to talk to you. Am I an awesome baddie? You better answer. If you don't, I'm just going to tell you, you smell. You smell! Okay, this is this is what this is what you would do if you were a baddie and they weren't saying what you wanted. Stinky. <coughs> Who farted? <laughs> He's not saying anything. Are you even in the game? Am I a baddie? Huh? Huh? You gonna talk to me? Huh? Are you gonna? Please, somebody talk to me! No, you're a fart. Okay, well, I guess I sort of deserve that since I've been talking about farts in the server like for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> hey, aren't I the best baddie ever? Like you've ever seen? What's a baddie? What, do you live under a rock? A, a baddie is me! Aren't I the best baddie ever? Just say yes, just say yes. Please say yes! Hey, I'm the bestest baddie ever, right? You can be anything you want. That's right! I'm the best baddie! Say, say I'm the best baddie! Say I'm the best baddie. Come on. I need to win this competition. I just need one person to say I'm the best baddie. You're the best baddie! <laughs> I'm the best baddie! I'm the best baddie! Wait a minute. Dad? That's right, honey. You can be anything you want to be. Dad! <laughs> His opinion doesn't even count. Steph? Oh, man, Dad. This was supposed to be a competition. And, well... You don't count. What? Dear old dad can't tell you're the best baddie? I mean, I was just the best baddie, so you have to be the best baddie, too. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, guys. In today's video, you're going to see why you should always try to be nice to others. Because you never know what someone might be going through. Molly and Daisy's family seems, well, really nice. I mean, not perfect, but super, super nice. Hey, honey, what's for dinner? 
Um, I thought we could have tacos. Ooh, one of my favorites. Well, we'd have to wait for Daisy. I'll set the table. Thanks, honey. I really appreciate all of your help. Molly, would you feed the dogs? <coughs> Ugh, do I have to? Yes, Molly. You have to. And we'll wait till Daisy gets home from her dance competition before we eat our tacos. Meanwhile, at my house, things aren't so perfect. Brookie, I'm home. Hey, Dad. I'm in the kitchen. Hey, honey. How was school today? It was okay. Oh, are you still struggling with missing your mom? Yeah, I mean, I know it's been a few months since she died, but <sighs> I just still really miss her. I think we'll miss her forever, honey, but I have a new somebody that I want you to meet. Really? Who? Hi, I'm Karen! Oh, um, <gasps> Dad, I wasn't expecting your new friend to be, well, a girl. Well, Karen and I met, um, well, the other day. She works at the local restaurant. She owns it. Karen's drive through Have you heard of it? Um, yeah, Dad. This is the owner of Karen's drive through Everyone thinks she's, like, totally miserable. <laughs> what? No, Karen's so amazing. And, um, her and I have been dating. <laughs> dating? <gasps> Wait. What? Dad! No! What about Mom? Honey, we have to move on with our lives. We can't, you know, just think about that forever. Come on, Karen's really nice. Give her a chance. Ugh. Well, ugh. I just, I don't know what to say, okay? Excuse me, Karen. I need to run to my room and be dramatic about this, and you're right in my way. Ugh. I thought she might have this reaction. It's fine! Kids love me! Trust me! Wow! Okay, Karen, well, I hope you're right, because my Brookie, she means the world to me, and I just think she's really struggling with this since her mom died. Oh, don't worry about a thing! I'm gonna be like a new mom for her! Okay, I, I really hope she accepts you. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be fine, Lou! Hey, everybody. I'm making this snap because I just found out my dad has a new girlfriend already. Her name is Karen. She owns Karen's drive through downtown. And I always heard she's like, ugh, terrible. And, well, I'm not sure that I want anyone to take my mom's place, ever. Okay, well, that's all. If you think this was bad, you should see what happens in a couple of weeks when my dad decides to move Karen into our house. And then he gives me the biggest, worst announcement. Finally, some time away from my new roommate, Karen. Honey, where are you, Brookie? Oh, there you are, sweetie. Hey, um, I, I gotta tell you something. Oh, is it that Karen's moving out? Yay! No, uh, honey, uh, are you having a problem with Karen? Well, actually, Dad, I was thinking that maybe it could be just... Hi! <laughs> Are you ready, honey? Let's make our announcement to her. I can't wait to be your new mommy. Oh, uh, Karen, maybe now's not such a good time. It's a perfect time, Lou. <laughs> Brookie, we're getting married. Ah! Wait, what? I, I don't know what to say. Say you're excited for us. Your dad and I are going to live happily ever after. Honey, are you okay? Sweetie, I want you to be okay with this. Of course she's okay with it, Lou. Who wouldn't want a new mommy after all the bad things that have happened? We're going to be BFFs, Brookie. I already have a BFF. Her name is Molly. Honey, just try to be nice to Karen. She's going to be your stepmom from now on. I... I... Uh -huh. Bye, sweetie. I have to go to work, but I'm sure you and Karen were going to have the best day ever while I'm gone. Uh-huh. Sure, Dad. I just miss Mom. I wish she was here right now. Oh, bye-bye, Lou. Have a great day. <laughs> Do you think that you're going to just sit around and be lazy when I'm here? What? What are you talking about, Karen? You will call me mother. 
No, I won't. I'm not calling you mother. Excuse me, I wanna go to the kitchen and get a snack. You aren't going anywhere. You want to earn a snack? Clean these floors, <gasps> now. Wait, what? That's right, I don't need you just sitting around here being lazy all day. When I'm here, what I say goes. You can't talk to me like this, I'll tell my dad. And ruin the little bit of happiness he has? Oh, you selfish little spoiled brat. Ow. Well, she has a point. My dad does seem really happy with Karen. I guess I'll do what you say, Karen. Good. Start doing all these chores, you brat. Okay. Uh, Karen, I finished all my chores. Um, could I go outside and get some fresh air now? No. Now you can make me a snack and then go to your room and be quiet. Um, okay, I'll make you a snack. Here you go, Karen. I made you a whole pizza. Is that good? Wow. Yeah, it'll do. But, um, did you put carbs in that? Well, yeah, it's pizza. It has lots of carbs. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll eat it. But you better try harder for my afternoon snack. Now go to your room. Um, okay. Oh my god. This is the worst life ever. I, I just don't even want to live in this house anymore. It's so terrible. <laughs> I miss my mom. I have the worst life ever right now. <laughs> I wonder who that is. <laughs> hey there, BFF. What's up? Hey, Molly. I'm so sad. I guess talking to your BFF is the best thing to do when you're having problems. My dad is marrying Karen. And she's, well, a Karen. She's mean. And, and crazy. Well, you have to tell your dad. I can't. He's so happy. Rookie, are you in your room? Are you in the bathroom? You better not be using my curling iron. Ugh, gotta go. Oh. Where are you? I can't even find you. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I can hide from Karen. If I hide from her, she can't find me. Then she can't be mean to me anymore. Molly, help. Are you seriously on your phone? Did I approve you being on your phone? Who on earth could that be? Go answer the door. Um, okay, stepmother. I didn't say you could call me stepmother. I said you should call me mother. <laughs> DoorDash for Karen. Molly, Shh, just play along. <laughs> she doesn't know what I look like. What? DoorDash? Who ordered this? I did. That's why I was on my phone. Because you said the lunch was really terrible. So I decided to or order you some gluten-free options from DoorDash. With my own money, of course. Well, I guess you're just trying to get on my good side. Which is a good thing. Because I'm your new mother. I'm gonna go eat my snack. Okay, I'll just let the DoorDash person out. Molly, hurry, come on. Come up to my room. Whoa, your stepmom is like evil. She's not my stepmom yet. Brookie, why you keep laying it down? Are you needing a nap or something? No, it's this game. It always glitches. It makes me try to lay down. Um, okay, anyway, back to what we were talking about. We have to get you out of here, but how? I think, um, we could try to sneak out. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, um, let me see what I have in my bag to help us sneak out of here. Yeah, because I don't think these windows actually open. Ugh, Roblox. Why don't you make windows that open so I can get out? Ooh. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't have anything in my bag except for, well, 
a half-eaten cupcake from yesterday, an old piece of gum, and... Okay, yeah. Molly, that's okay. You don't have to tell me everything. Well, I also had some toilet paper in there. Toilet paper? Why? Because one time I went to Walmart and I had to go to the bathroom and they didn't have any toilet paper. Oh, oh why did I eat that bean burrito? Wait a minute. Where's the toilet paper? Oh my god! Oh my god! There's no toilet paper! Oh! <laughs> Man, that was a terrible memory. Thanks for asking me to relive it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I see why you care to carry toilet paper with you everywhere you go. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's just sneak out, Brookie. I'm sure your evil soon-to-be stepmom or whatever, evil Karen, whatever you want to call her, won't even notice. She'll be too busy chowing down on the food I brought. Molly, be super careful. Our house is very old. The floors squeak. Yeah, we don't want to get caught. Exactly. I see the door. We can get out of here. Is somebody there? Uh-oh. Caught. Hide. Where are you, Brookie? Ugh. Really? Did you think you were going to trick me with that hiding spot? Well, our house doesn't really have any hiding places, but wouldn't it be fun to play hide and seek, Mother? <laughs> ha! Ha! Ah! Shoo! What was that? Was that the DoorDash person? Um, yeah. Wait a minute. You look like the picture I've seen of Brookie's BFF in her bedroom. Uh oh. Is your name Molly? Um. Uh. uh yes. <laughs> work for DoorDash. Yeah, that's it. I think you're both liars. You want to know what? You want to play hide and seek? Great. If I find you after five minutes of hiding, you're grounded for life! Uh-oh! Molly, where should we hide? I think we should split up. Then at least one of us will get grounded and not the other. And maybe the other one can go get your dad or whatever. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to be split up from you, Molly. We have to, Brookie. Good luck. Thanks, Molly. You too. I never realized how terrible my house is for hide and seek. Ooh. Where should I go? Where should I go? The time is ticking. The time is ticking. Oh, I know. I have a good spot. I think. Okay. Um, I just, I need to lay down. And then I can hide in those bushes, I think. Uh, let me see. Uh, that should work, right? Okay, let's see if I can just, like, over here like this. Oh, I'm sticking out too far. Oh, my God. Maybe these bushes over here. <laughs> Look how I'm going across the ground. That looks really weird. Hey, guys. Um, maybe this bush over here. 20 seconds till I ground you for life. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't think you can see me here. Oh, no, you can still see me a little bit. Right, I think this is the best bush to hide in over here. I don't know if I could just turn my body a certain way. This would work perfectly. Wow, my god! Okay, my legs are still hanging out! Ready or not, here I come! Oh, Brookie, good luck! Hmm. Where are you, girl? I want to ground you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Ow, she stepped on my finger! Ow! Don't scream, Brookie, don't scream! Hmm. Seems I can't find her. She's very good at this game. But I'll never give up and never surrender. Bratty, spoiled kids. I can't even believe how bratty they are. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Achoo! Ugh, allergies! Ha ha ha. Found you, brat. Now you're grounded for life. Ooh. Wait, what? I, 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 I didn't mean to, to, to cause any trouble and. Grounded. For life! Wait a minute. Uh, you're not my mom. What? But I'm a grown-up. So I can decide if you're grounded or not. Uh, no? Also, no and no. You're not my mom, so you don't get to ground me. Get a clue, Karen! She's distracted with Molly. Maybe if I jump on this trampoline, I can jump high enough to get over the fence in the backyard and run to my dad. It worked! Oh my gosh, I just need to run as fast as I can. I see the town. I see the town. Where do you think you're going? Oh, oh, Karen, um, uh. I found you. And now you're grounded for life. 
Seriously, Karen, get out of my way! I don't think so. I'm your mother now. So call me mother. And we're live in three, two, one, on air. Hello, citizens of Brookhaven. It's your favorite newscaster, Miley. Today, I have some very important breaking news. <sighs> Brookhaven has an outbreak of lyotomy. Lyotomy is where, when you catch it, you can't help but tell lies. Guys, stay in your houses. Don't leave. You do not want to catch lyotomy. Lyotomy? Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't catch it. I mean, I went to Starbucks after school today and then... And, and, and I didn't wash my hands before I ate my donut! Oh no! I'm sure I'm fine. I'm probably panicking about nothing. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little jumpy, jumpy about that lyotomy. <laughs> Someone's at my door and I freaked out. Oh, it's Brookie! Hey, Brookie, come on in! Hey, Molly, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too! So, um, you here to hang out? Actually, Molly, um, I. I have to tell you a little bit of bad news. Uh-oh! Bad news? What is it? Don't freak out. It's not as bad as, it, as you think, but I'm moving from Brookhaven. Wait, what? <laughs> moving from Brookhaven? No, no! I'm sorry, Molly, but it's true. I can't help it. My parents decided they're going to move because my dad got a new job. Brookie, no! You're my best friend! You can't leave! Molly, it's okay. It's just a short car ride away. We're not like moving to California or something. Oh, thank goodness. But will you still go to my school? Yeah, I just won't live like right next door. Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to go to your school anymore. I have to check. But you won't be there all day then. Yeah, I know. But I'm sorry, Molly. I, I can't do anything about it. Ugh. Brookie, I'm so sad about this. Hey, did you watch the news? What? Why are you talking about the news right now? No, of course I didn't. I was on my way over here. I didn't have time to watch the news. Besides, the news is for old people. Duh. We just Google all of our information. Yeah, well, um, I saw something on there, but wait, what was it? Something important, but now I can't seem to remember it. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it was about having amnesia, because it seems like you have it. Nah, I don't think that's what it was about. Wait, do I have amnesia? <laughs> Molly, I'm just teasing. But hey, look, I gotta go home and pack. Brookie, you can't leave! No! I'm gonna stand in front of the door. You can't ever leave. Molly, don't be ridiculous. You know I have to leave. I I know that we're BFFs, but don't worry. We can still hang out with one another. I really hope so, Brookie. I really hope so! Um, because I can't live without you. Yes, I, I can't. Aww. Really, Molly? Yeah, I, I, I'll get, like, super sick. I'll get green with illness. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Molly, you're right. You are turning green. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. My best friend, she can't move. Molly, you can come visit me every day after school, okay? Now, please, turn back to your normal color. Okay, Perky. But, but don't leave me for long. Wow. Brookie's parents are really rich. Hey, Molly, come on in. Welcome to our new house. Holy macaroni and cheese. What kind of job did your parents get? A really good one. This town is so cool. Look, we even have our own movie theater. <gasps> Holy tacos and guacamole. Molly, so tell me the truth. Um, Do you really like Luke? I was thinking about asking him to the dance. Wait, what? No, I don't like him. Are you being for real, Molly? I, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I don't I don't like Luke. I, I actually just like don't like him at all. He's not even my friend anymore. Wait, what? So I've been out of a different, like out of our school and a different school for like a week and you already decided you don't want him as a friend? That's right. Well, what did he do? He ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. Can you believe that? Molly. Are you telling me the truth right now? <laughs> That's kind of a silly reason to not be someone's friend. Yeah, but it was peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorites. And yes, it is a perfectly good reason. Now, come on. Let's go into the kitchen and make some snacks. I'm really hungry. You can find the kitchen. This house is gigantic. 
Oh, yeah. Malia, I haven't even figured it out yet, but I'm pretty sure it's up here. Whoa, Brookie! Your house is so amazing. I mean, not that amazing. It's, it's kind of lame. What? What are you talking about? I thought you said you loved it. Yeah, I changed my mind. It's lame. <laughs> Molly, what's gotten into you? What do you mean, what's gotten into me? What's gotten into you? What? I... Okay. First of all, you don't want to be friends with Luke anymore, even though you had a huge crush on him and he was a good friend of yours just because he ate your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now you're telling me you loved my house, but you're saying you don't love it? So which is the lie, Molly? What? Nothing's a lie. I'm not a liar. Oh, really, Molly? I think you are lying. I don't think you ever not want to be friends with Luke. And I think you really do like my house. Your house is crummy and ugly and I hate it. Molly! That hurt my feelings. Do you feel bad about hurting my feelings? Uh-oh. Um, no. Molly, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Well, you need to be my friend for at least another hour because my sister borrowed the car to go to dance class and I've got no ride home since you moved to another town. But Molly, you said you couldn't even live without me. They, you turned green because you'd be so sick if, if you couldn't be my friend anymore. And, and here I am inviting you to my new house and you're going to be rude like this? Do I look green now? Um, no. I think you should call Daisy and tell her to come pick you up early. Fine. I'll call her. It's ringing. Okay, fine. can't believe it. I thought that when I moved away, we'd still be friends. Well, you thought wrong. Hello, what's up? I'm doing my peel wets. Daisy, um, you need to come get me, like, now. What? Why? Just come to Brookie's. It's an emergency. Bye. There, are you happy? Now I'm going to make a snap about how rude you are for kicking me out of your house. What? I don't want to be on your snap. I don't care. You're on my snap. No. Uh, well, tell them the truth, then. You're being rude. I'm not going to be on your snap. Um, my friend Brookie is being so rude right now. She's kicking me out of her house for no reason. What? No, I'm not. Says the girl who doesn't even want to be on this snap. Okay, Molly, tell me the truth. What's really going on? Are you an alien that's abducted my best friend's body? Because you don't seem like yourself. Well, think again. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. I ate a bean burrito for lunch. <laughs> the bathroom's the other way. Fine. <gasps> Molly, that's not the door to the bathroom. Well, that's not my fault. I mean, why'd you make your door so big on your refrigerator? Molly, well, you're not allowed to just eat my food after you were so mean to me. Too bad. Mm. I'm eating this ice cream on the way to the bathroom. Yeah. Ugh. Molly, you are so rude. Ow, why are you running into me? Because I don't know where the bathroom is in this house either. Ugh. Well, I don't know why my friend has gotten so rude. I don't know what her problem is. Good ice cream. Molly, are you done in the bathroom? I have to use it. No, I'm not. Well, out of the bathroom, Molly. Why are you lying so much to me? I'm going in the bathroom. Okay, well, you have fun with that. What's that smell? <gasps> Ew, Molly, did you forget to flush the toilet? Huh, what? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about this giant dude in my bathroom. Gross. Um, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Molly, you're the only one here. What, was it a ghost? Uh, yep, must have been. Why is he lying so much? And what did you have for lunch? It's gross in here. I had a nutritious, delicious lunch. A chicken salad. I don't believe you, Molly. You had bean burritos. I know what bean burritos do to you. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. What are you talking about? You're lying about lying. I'm not 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 lying. Hello, is anybody there? We're going to get to the bottom of this, Molly. If it's the last thing I do. Get to the bottom of what? What are you even talking about? We're downstairs, Daisy. Come on in and pick up your rude, lying sister. What's going on? I had to leave my dance class early. This is ridiculous. Molly, tell me what's going on. Did you stick up Boogie's bathroom? What? No. Why do you say that? Because it smells awful in here and I knew it wasn't Brookie. And you had a bean burrito for lunch. Hey, you told me you had a delicious and nutritious something. Chicken salad or something. You didn't say bean burrito. Um, uh, well, this is mistaken. Now my 
him that, Maddie. Why are you lying about that? You love being bullied. She's been lying about everything, Daisy. I have not. If you guys are going to be rude to me, I'm going outside. Even though I don't know how to get out of here and I can't walk home because it's too far. Molly, get back in here. We have more questions. Yeah, Molly, why? I don't know. I just keep lying and I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Molly caught my out of me. <gasps> what? 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 What's that? I saw it about it. I, didn't, I saw it. I, I can't even talk. I'm so crazy by this. I saw this um, thing on the news. It's called Lyotomy. It's been going around Brookhaven. You must have moved before you caught it. Well, why don't you have it, Daisy? I don't know. Maybe I'm immune. Um, I do wash my hands a lot. Molly, did you wash your hands? What? Yes. Molly. Yes. Molly, tell the truth. Yes. She can't tell the truth. Seems like Lyotomy makes her lie about everything. Well, do you still want to be her friend? I mean, it's not really her fault. Yeah, it's not really my fault. Wait, I'm not even lying. Am I? I don't know. Oh my god. I might be lying! We need to take her to the hospital. Right away. Good idea! So, um, I'm at the hospital because I'm having a baby. Molly, why are you telling people that? Get, get out of here, Molly. That's not true. Hey, get out of my snap! <laughs> I'm here to have twins. It might not be the privilege. Oh my god, she has lyotomy so bad. They're crying inside of my belly right now. Molly, you're the one who did that. The triplets are very mad at you for saying that. Oh god, someone give us something to knock her out. Oh look, no one's here. Time to go. Molly, get back here! Oh, I ran into the door. <laughs> Maybe I need to have my head checked. Hi, I'm Dr. Joan, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. I'm going to need you to lay down on the bed. I am laying down, lady. Um, no, you're not. You're standing up. Did you fall and bonk on your head? Ow. No, I'm just sitting down. Yeah, can't you see I'm sitting down? Okay, listen, Molly. If you don't sit down, I can't help you. I don't need help. I'm perfectly fine. No, she's not. Don't listen to that crazy person standing outside the window of this room. I don't know who she is. That's your sister. She signed you in. Now, I'm thinking that you live in Brookhaven? No, I don't. I live in Blacksburg. No, she doesn't. She lives in Brookhaven. She didn't wash her hand before she ate a donut. Now she's got lyotomy. Lyotomy? Are serious? Okay, dear. Lay down. Uh, I thought we already went over this. I'm laying down. Lay down! Okay, fine. Wow, why are you being so rude? Well... This is going to be a little unpleasant. Do I get medicine? Do I get to hang out in the hospital? Do I have to do homework? Um, no, no, and no. Sorry about this, but in order for you to be cured from lyotomy, you're basically going to have to get smacked in the head with this. What? Jack, please! Daisy! Ah, why can't I move? Oh, yeah, I did give you just a little bit of medicine in your IV so that um, you couldn't move while I did this. Ah! Well, sorry about this, but... Ooh, I sort of need a nap. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a glitch in the game. It always makes me want to lay down in the bed. Where I'm trying to be a doctor! <laughs> Ow! Did you just hit me? Okay, try to tell a lie. You're very pretty. What? I don't know if that's a lie or the truth. It's a lie, lady. Knock me again. How about now? Are you feeling any better? Ow! Okay, I'm better. Why you keep hitting me? Because you called me ugly and you deserved that. Ugh. <sighs> I want to get out of here. Can I move now? I suggest you lay here on this magic cot for at least another hour. Is it really magic? Um, no. But I may have caught your lyotomy. Oh, no! It's spreading! Ah! Uh-oh. Guess you should have washed your hands before you smacked me in the head with that hammer. Molly? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better, but I have a headache. Ow! I wonder. Holy guacamole. Where's Brookie? Uh, your line got a little bit too much for her. Oh, no. Oh, Molly, apparently whatever they gave you made you levitate. Um, actually, no, that's from my bean burrito. <laughs> Ew, Molly. What? It makes a lot of wind under me. <laughs> Get it, wind. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just text Boogie. Tell her you're sorry. Okay, here we go. Hi, Brookie. I know I lied. But it was because I had a disease. I may lie about 
my homework. Oh wait, I did it wrong. Um, uh, if you did your homework, you could spell it right. I wouldn't lie to you, please. We've been friends forever. Molly, just apologize. Why are you waiting to a novel right now? It's not supposed to be a book. Daisy, shh. Please, we've been friends forever. We met at daycare. And you Five minutes later. You've been my BFF since then. How will I ever? A few minutes later. Live without you. Maddie, just say you're sorry. Okay, fine. Whoops, I already clicked send. I'm sorry. Emoji. Um, or dog, maybe. Look at this grumpy cat. Like, wait. I just want to send her something cute. Why do I always got to pay for it? Oh my god, I think she sent me a heart. Did I send that? Aww. Yeah, yeah, Molly. She sent that to you. I hope she comes back into the hospital and talks to me. Hello, Molly. She may. Oh, she texts you back. She texts me back. What am I saying? I don't know. She smacked you on the head with a hammer. Okay. What does this mean? I don't, Molly, just, just, just put your phone down. You need your rest. No, I need to know what she means. Molly, the doctor told you to stay in bed. You just had a crazy procedure. I know, but I have to find Brookie. Oh, Brookie! I'm so sorry. Where are you? What do you want, Molly? Oh, Brookie! Hi, I'm sorry I had li liotomy and, and, and... Uh, do you forgive me? <gasps> I don't know. Yes, I... No. Wait, what? I don't know. I mean... You are... Well, an ugly person. Wait. What? Oh my god. Brookie, do you feel sort of green? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, okay. Um, Brookie, you've caught liotomy. <gasps> what? No, I haven't. Brookie, you're lying. Come on. Let's go. They have to hit you over the head with a hammer. Wait, what? Are you lying? No, really, that's the cure. Oh! Okay, guys, what kind of snacks should I make? Guys, where'd you go? We're in here trying to pick out a movie, but we haven't decided which one. Molly, did you even close the door, jeepers? Hey, Brookie was the last one in. Yeah, but you let her into our house. You should have closed the door behind you. Hey guys, don't fight. I mean, I know you're sisters and stuff, but you don't have to fight all the time. Hey, cute pajamas, Bookie. So what kind of snacks do you want? Could you make some popcorn? I haven't had popcorn in a while, and it sounds so good. Sure, no problem. I'll have some chocolate, ice cream, chocolate bar, chocolate cake. Molly, you live here. Get your bowl. That's delicious. I'm going to this loser sleepover party but I'm just going there so that I can show everybody on my Snapchat just how big a loser they really are. I wonder who could be at the door. Molly, don't eat all the popcorn while I'm answering the door. Sheeples. No promises. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to sleepover. What? But how did you know we were having a sleepover? Um, sorry, but, um, she saw the text you sent me, Daisy, in math class, and, well, I just felt bad that no one ever invites her to any sleepovers. Uh, yeah, there's a reason for that. I don't know what you're talking about. I am the coolest one at the sleepover. Now hand over the popcorn. Okay, Sarah, you can stay at a sleepover, but no bullying anybody. Do you understand? Yes, yeah, Sarah, this is our house. And if you want to stay here for the sleepover, you need to be nice to everybody. I don't know if she can do it, guys. Slam the like button if you think she's going to be a bully. Um, I can totally be, well, kind of nice. Well, kind of nice is better than normal. <laughs> oh, no, Bookie, did the popcorn give you, um, the hiccups? Yeah, popcorn always gives me the hiccups for some reason. Do you have anything to drink? Let's play truth or dare. Um, something tells me this is a really bad idea to play truth or dare with this school bully. Well, um, I don't see why we shouldn't. I mean, 
Maybe we can find out some things about Tewa we never knew. And then maybe if we know her secrets and she knows us, she won't bully us as much. I think it's a great idea. Hey everybody, I'm making this Snapchat because I'm having an amazing sleepover so far with my BFF and my sister and, um, well, Sarah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a great sleepover, at least I hope. Enough on your Snapchat already. Let's play Truth or Dare. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, who's going first? I'll go first. Daisy, Truth or Dare. Um... Uh, dare. <gasps> you, um, I dare you to, um, read us something from your diary. What? But that's personal. Hey, a dare is a dare, Daisy. I don't know if I want to play this game anymore. Okay, well, I guess you're a big, fat loser. I am not. I think you should just read the journal entry. It's not going to be that big of a deal, Daisy. Okay, fine. <clears throat> um, let's see. Oh, just read the journal entry already. Jeez. Okay, um. Dear diary, one time when I was five years old, my mom and dad got some Girl Scout cookies. And I really liked the peanut butter ones with the chocolate. And I decided I was going to eat the whole box myself. And my mom and dad said that's a really bad idea because it's going to make you really sick. And I didn't care. I ate the whole box anyway. And then I barfed into a bucket all night long. And well, um, it gave me really bad diarrhea. And then I <laughs> in my yeah. pants. Love this. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious and also really gross. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so learning so much about you guys being total losers. <laughs> um, Sarah, that's kind of rude. Yeah, that was really embarrassing. I don't want to play this game anymore. Well, I brought my diary too, but I would never, ever read it to any of you guys. That's why I would definitely pick truth. Ooh. Well, I think we're done with this game. Um, that was really embarrassing. I don't want to play anymore. What? We just got started, Daisy. You want to quit already? Game is not over. Game is over, I say so. It's my sleepover. Uh-oh. Now everybody go to bed. Daisy, we haven't even watched the movie yet. Okay, fine. We can watch a movie, but then we're going to bed. Wow, that made her so grumpy. Just going to go ahead and put my journal right back here on my nightstand. Ah, this game keeps making me want to lay down. I'm not ready for bed yet. Stop it. Yeah, I'm going to put my, this right here on my nightstand. And that way, um, I won't misplace it or let anybody else read it. Holy guacamole, that was so embarrassing. Ooh, I wanted to see this movie. Whatever. I've seen this like two times already. Really? It just came out, Sarah? Yeah, I went to the theater with my friends to see it, and I watched it also on my phone. Wow, that's amazing. Well, um, would, would anybody like another snack? Yeah, I'll have some ice cream if you have any. Yeah, me too. Ice cream sounds delicious. Uh, Brookie, Sarah, be careful you don't get any of your ice cream on my mom's couch. She'll be really sad. She just got it. Whatever. I'm just gonna Snapchat how big of a loser you all are. <gasps> wow, we said no bullying at this sleepover. Oh, you can go home. Whatever. I'm gonna go to bed anyway. I think this is gonna be so fun, but it really isn't. Well, you're welcome for the ice cream. She is so rude. Yeah, I bet you wish you didn't invite her now. Yeah, sort of. Sorry, guys. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Hey, Sarah, you're in my bed. Well, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> well, can I at least sleep on the other side? No, ew. I don't want you to sleep next to me. It's my bed. I don't care. Get lost. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was the most uncomfortable bed ever. Ooh. I'm just gonna pack my bag and go home. Glad I didn't forget my diary. 
Ay, 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 I can't believe I had to sleep on the floor. Ow. Well, everyone else got to sleep in a comfy bed. But I better go get ready for school. Wow, Sarah's gone already? I'm going to write about this whole sleepover in my diary at school. I'm at, at school in my uh, study hall. I can't say I have anything nice to say. Wait a minute. This isn't my diary. Dear diary, it's me, Sarah, and Molly, and Daisy, and Brookie have the lamest sleepover ever. They're such losers. Why did I even come here? Oh, my God. This is Sarah's diary. I'm a good person. I'm not going to read any more of it because it's rude to read people's diaries. That's an invasion of their privacy. Now, where's my diary? It was right here on the nightstand where Sarah's was. <gasps> oh, I'm cheap. Oh, my God. I hope Sarah didn't take my diary instead. I got to go, go wake up Molly and, 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 and Pookie and, and, and. Oh, my God. I'm so freaking out right now. I can't find my diary and I think Sarah took it. Guys, wake up. Wake up. What are you doing? Why are you jumping on us? Ugh. It's still really early. Actually, it's time for school. And also, guys, my diary is missing. And Sarah's missing. Ah! Wait, what? What are you talking about? I think she took my diary on accident and left hers behind. She talked about how we were all lame and had the worst sleepover ever. And my diary's missing. O-M-G. We better get to school quick. Molly, what are you doing? I'm making a Snapchat about this. Buddy, do not Snapchat about it. Okay, fine, but I'm just saying, this is going to be all over the school. <laughs> Everything you said in your diary is definitely going to be, well, public knowledge if Sarah's got your diary. <gasps> Don't worry, Daisy. I'm sure it's not as bad as Molly thinks. No, it is. You know it is. Sarah's a total bully. Uh-oh. Okay, Sarah, we're live in five, four, three, two, rolling. Good morning, everyone in this school. Welcome to your school news. I'm Sarah, and I have some very interesting thing to read you today. You're not even going to believe your ears. Oh, my God. Does Sarah have your diary? She's about to read it to everybody at school. OMG, who made her in charge of school news? I don't know, but this is going to be very embarrassing. No, no, not for long. Sarah, Sarah, good morning, everybody. It's me, Daisy. Sarah invited me on this very special morning edition of School News to, well, um, yeah, to um, uh, read something very special. Wait, what's, what's that? <gasps> That's what happened to my diary. Yeah. You switched them on accident, boy. No, it was on accident. I thought I buried that at the bottom of my backpack. And then I couldn't find it this morning. And then I thought, well, I'll find it later. <laughs> Reading Daisy's diary on air is going to be so much fun. Ooh. Really? Do you want to talk about your entry from January 3rd? Dear diary, I had to run to the bathroom and... What? Don't tell anybody that. Okay, well, what do you say we switch our diaries back? Hmm? Hmm? Whoa, the drama in this school is so crazy. <gasps> okay, Daisy, just give me my diary back now. I don't think so. You give me my diary back first. No, you give me my diary back first. My. 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 Look, Sarah, you just have to give me my diary back. I don't trust you. Okay, okay. Why don't you both just calm down? Each of you put your diary on the floor over here, and then you each can grab your own diary, okay? Well, I guess that sounds fail. Your diary was lame. Well, I didn't read yours because I'm not rude. <laughs> I'm going to read both of them. This is some juicy stuff right here. Molly, did you just steal both of our diaries? Molly! OMG, Sarah, this is all your fault. Oh my god, she's gonna read our diaries. That's it. Get up! <laughs> I don't wanna watch this. I get to run and watch I go. <laughs>
Well, too bad. We're eating cookies and we're watching the gymnastics competition. Yeah, baby Kayla, we've been waiting all week to watch this. I can't wait to see my favorite gymnast. She's up next. Special news report. Sorry, we have to interrupt your gymnastic competition. What? Oh, they always do this every time. <laughs> There's nothing on but this news channel. What are they talking about? Well, a woman went missing for years, but our big news today, Stephanie, is that it's Wear Your Favorite Color Day. And guess what? If you wear your favorite color, you get a free ice cream. Wow. Say what? Oh my God, this is amazing. It's a fashionista's dream. Wear my favorite color, get an ice cream. How do they know if you're being honest about what your favorite color is, though? I mean, what if your favorite color is blue like me, but you wear pink? They're just trusting you, man. <gasps> oh, wow, that's pretty nice of them. Well, I'm going to wear my favorite color. Oh, wait, I already am. No, Molly, you have to wear your favorite color all the way from top to bottom. And I have to paint my skin blue? <laughs> okay, that's a little weird. I'll show you what, how to do it, Molly, because I'm a fashionista and I know this kind of stuff. Boom, perfect. Pink is obviously my favorite color. I even have a pink lollipop. Holy guacamole, Daisy. <gasps> your hair looks so different. Well, it's wear your favorite color day, so I decided to take down my pigtails and dye my hair pink. Whoa, <laughs> you're definitely going to get the free ice cream. All right, well, I guess it's my turn. And what's your favorite color, baby Kiwa? Rainbow! Uh, baby Kiwa, you don't understand the assignment. It's supposed to be your favorite color. I don't stand, I tell you. Rainbow! <laughs> I didn't know you were there. No, you're just supposed to pick one color. Just let her do what she wants. She's a baby. I'm sure they'll give her a free ice cream anyway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, well, um, let's get dressed. We can put our ice cream. No, we're getting dressed in our favorite colors because we love being our favorite color. No, I'm just doing it so I can get free ice cream. Why are you so tall? Take off those heels. I don't think so. I think these heels look adorable on me. Yeah, but they make you look a giant. Uh, correction, they make me fabulous. <laughs> Is everybody ready to go? Molly, what are you wearing? My imposter costume for the last time. It's the bluest thing I own. I'm blue. I'm blue. Molly, I am not being seen out in public with you wearing that. What? I think I look great. I think I look great. Oh, baby Kira, look at how cute she looks in that little rainbow dino sweatshirt. She looks adorable. That is a cute hoodie, but Molly, we are not going like that. Too bad I'm going like that. We are going for ice cream. Let's go. <coughs> Molly, you can't even walk in that costume. You just sort of waddle. Well, <laughs> too bad. Actually, I'll be waddling after I eat all that ice cream anyway, so I don't really care. Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe this girl is my sister. Watch this! This is so cool about Roblox. I'm totally going to teleport. <gasps> do, 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 do. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Dizzy, why did you bring your own spoon? <laughs> they have spoons at Coastal Combs. What? What are you talking about? On the side of your bag, there's a spoon there. What? Wait, that's not a spoon. It's the handle to my bag. Um, okay. Anybody who's watching this video right now, Slam the like button if you think Daisy's purse looks like it has a spoon on it. Come on, that looks like a spoon. It's not a spoon. Uh, this is a very fashionable bag. It looks like a spoon. I did not wear a spoon on my purse. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Molly, look, there's a fitness center over there. We could work out after we get our ice cream. The only thing I'm worried about is fitting this whole ice cream cone in my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, very funny. Welcome to Coastal Cones. <sighs> what can I get for you? Yuck, we're very good, very good combo. And we get free ice cream cone. Oh, look, I haven't heard that all day. I'm wearing my favorite color. Give me an ice cream cone. What are you supposed to be? What are you supposed to be, a blockhead? Um, no. It's my costume.
costume from last Halloween, and it's from that game of Long Ass, and my favorite color is blue. Could I have a strawberry ice cream with two scoops, please, for free? Whatever. Here you go. Yeah. Pink, wear your favorite color, Daisy. She sure is grumpy. Hey, what's your favorite color? I don't have a favorite color. Say what? You don't have a favorite color? Who on earth doesn't have a favorite color? Apparently she doesn't, the ice cream worker. You might not want to eat that lollipop while you're also eating an ice cream. You're gonna rot your teeth. Um, yeah, okay, I'll have a chocolate ice cream cone, please. Excuse me, I didn't order strawberry, I ordered chocolate. Too bad, that's what you get. Um, yeah, okay. I am want a rainbow ice cream. You get this, watermelon. She obviously is not very happy about it being your favorite color, Jane. I hate it. I've had to work twice as hard at this ice cream shop today because the owner said I had to give out free ice cream. Mwah. I think that made you really happy that you got to be so nice to people. Well, it doesn't. Come on, sisters. Let's go over to the beach and relax while we have ah! ice cream. Hey, you don't have to say thank you to me or anything. It's not like I've been working all day. What'd she say? Man, she was grumpy. Snapchat, Snapchat, set me free. Take these colors away from me. Daisy, what is going on with your hair? <gasps> and your clothes. You look like Corella DeVille. What? What are you talking about? Ah! Whoa, what are you guys wearing? Baby Kill, why are you dressed out in black? And Molly, what is what is up with you? What? What are you talking about? I'm wearing my costume. It's a totally different one. It's just black and white. I get from Alien or some creepiness right there. O M G. We've been cursed. What? what are you talking about? It's in the ice cream. I bet. Stop eating it. Oh, but why? Why would we be cursed? I think yeah, the ice cream person who gave us the ice cream mask. And she made it turn black and white. And she made it turn black and white. Wait, what? Why would she do that? Um, because she's really angry about having to serve this much ice cream today. Did you not notice? Guys, I think the town is looking a little black and white too. O-M-G! Let's go talk to her. Maybe she'll change your mind. Or maybe she'll tell us what the antidote is for the ice cream cone. Ha 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 Ah, this is perfect! No more serving ice cream to all you brats! What? That's not very nice! You are more like the ice queen than the ice cream, Sofa! That's right, I am the ice queen! Ha 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 I make everyone's heart turn to ice and everything black and white! <gasps> well, um, I was wondering, uh, could you kind of turn us back because I like pink. It's my favorite color. I don't think so. I just asked Snapchat to take all the colors away and everybody's losing their color one at a time until the entire town has been washed of color. <laughs> so you did this with Snapchat? Jeepers, I thought it was something you put in the ice cream. Nope. Snapchat granted my wish. Holy guacamole. Well then, if that's true, I'm gonna pull out my Snapchat. Hey everybody, it's Daisy and don't even bother. I'm the Ice Queen and I'm in charge of Snapchat. Oh really, are you? Then what's this rainbow color? <laughs> oh Daisy, you're starting to sound like the evil one. Wait a minute. That put a rainbow face on me, too! How could this be? Well, I just happen to be amazing at Snapchat. And obviously your spell with Snapchat isn't working any longer. It is, because everything is black and white. Listen, if you hate your job at the ice cream shop, maybe you should try something else. I mean, evil ice cream's working for you pretty good. Wait, are you saying that I should try getting a different job? Yeah. You don't like the one you got, obviously, if you're turning the whole town black and white. Jeepers creepers. 
change. Could be a change for you is necessary, I think. I do your job. I love ice cream, and I bet you get free cones, don't you? I like ice cream. If you work at ice cream shop, I will be there when you eat the ice cream with you, Molly. Oh. I don't have to serve ice cream to brats anymore? Huh. Why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> I'm off to be an evil villain. <laughs> now hear me, world. I am the villain ice queen. Is she seriously standing on top of the picnic table? <laughs> uh, Molly, just let her have a moment. Obviously, she's totally crazy. <laughs> I will make the whole world black and white. <laughs> Whoa, losing my balance. Whoa. She's not very really good at being a villain either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what her job should be. Whoa, Molly Jack, a big ice cream cone bar with the bridges. I'm thinking that if we start serving everybody ice cream again, the world will go back to color. Ooh, that would be wonderful. Well, let's start with us. This ice cream looks delicious. I want some blueberry flavor. Mm. A pile on some watermelon. What else makes me happy? Chocolate, strawberry, and mint chocolate chip. Woo, this ice cream looks so good. Daisy, it worked. Yay! We're back to our normal selves. And our town is back to color too. Um, the evil villain is still laying out there. And she's still black and white. That's because she's not happy. I think if we start giving everybody ice cream, everything will be back to normal. Agreed, Molly. Hey guys, welcome to my Snapchat. Today I'm working at Coastal Cones. And if you're still black and white, don't worry. I can change you back to color and you get a free cone while you're doing it. Head on down, guys. You think that will work, Daisy? Oh, uh, well, here's our first customer. Hey, guys. Luke, <gasps> is that you? Yeah, I got the black and white curse and... Uh... I need to have some ice cream to see if I can get rid of it. What's your favorite? Mint chocolate chip. You got it. Mint and chocolate. Eat this and you should be back to color in no time. Wow, this ice cream is delicious. What happened to us anyway? Well, basically there was an evil ice queen that used a Snapchat curse to turn the entire town black and white, including us. Um, wear your favorite color day. I know, I was so excited about wear your favorite color day. I can't believe she did that. Yeah, she was really unhappy with her job. Whoa, it worked! Can you guess what my favorite color is? Um, green. You guessed it, Molly. You know me so well. Uh, yeah, we've been friends since preschool. Of course I do. Molly, what are you doing? Uh, last year's Halloween costume because my favorite color is blue, duh. Oh, <laughs> I should have known you would have done that. So there you have it, guys. Make sure you're using your Snapchat for good and not evil. Don't try to take people's colors away or their happiness away. Don't bully or be mean on Snapchat. Just be yourself and then other people will be themselves too. And come on down to Coaster Cones if you want a free ice cream cone. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Today is your birthday. Do, 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 do. Wait, wait, what? Are you pranking me right now? Um, no, Molly. Today is baby Kira's birthday. Can't you smell the cake baking? Oh, I thought you were making that for me since I'm the best daughter in the whole world. Um, no. You don't think I'm the best daughter in the whole world? What, what, what? Oh, no, you're one of the best daughters, one of three. But I'm not making the cake for you, silly. It's for baby Kira. I thought her birthday wasn't until next month. How could I make this mistake? Ow. The same way you forget your homework and a bunch of other things. Yeah, she has a point. Did you get baby Kira a present? I got the present. I like presents. Um, uh, Mom, I need to go to the store. So I take it that's a no. Nope. Are you going to eat your pancakes, Molly? Oh, yeah, I'm going to eat those first, and then I'm going to go to the store. Mmm. Delicious. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, done. Have to go to the store. Okay, Molly. Well, um, don't be 
later than one o'clock because that's when we're having your your sister's birthday party. Okay, I won't. Who wants to take a guess whether Molly will actually buy a present for baby Kira or if she'll buy Starbucks for herself? Well, DC, I have to hope that she'll keep your sister in her mind. Yeah, she might bring you a half-eaten Starbucks muffin. <laughs> Ooh la la! The bakery! So many delicious cupcakes. So many delicious donuts! No, Molly. No! You need to spend your money on baby Kira! But I could just have, like, one little cupcake. No! No! You have to save your money for baby Kira! Aww. Welcome to Walmart! What can I help you find today? Um, point me towards the toy section, please. All right, just head on over there to the children's section and you should be able to find exactly what you're looking for. Thank you! Oh my gosh, I bet baby Kira would love this Lego set. She loves building stuff. Mm, I don't see a price tag. Mm, I'm gonna take it up to the front and see how much it costs. Excuse me! Yes, how can I help you? Um, how much does this cost? That's $25.99. $25.99? Huh, I don't have that kind of money. I'm gonna have to put it back. Oh, Walmart, why do you have all this delicious bakery inside of you? Oh, tempting me with your delicious chocolate chip cookies and the smell of those chocolate donuts. Oh, focus, Molly, focus! Ooh, an iPad. Holy guacamole, my sister would love that. $239? That's not even the latest version. Definitely can't afford that. I only have $9. Mm. Ooh, a keyboard. That would drive my parents both crazy. Love it. It's going to be so loud. $19.99. Everything here costs so much money. Um, How about like these tennis rackets? $21.99. I only have $9. Perfect. Look it. Baby Kira would love one of these bouncy balls. This is what I'll get her. La, 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 Are you all ready to check out? Yep. How much is it? That one is $9.99. What? No! I only have $9. Can it please be just $9? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's not how the real world works. That's exactly how the real world should work. I can't afford to get my sister anything. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. This sounds like a real problem. Oh, My sister's gonna be so disappointed in me. I'm her biggest sister and I didn't even get her anything for her for her birthday. Like the worst big sister ever. Oh, oh. I guess there's only one thing to do. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, this cookie's so good. Oh, give me a cupcake too. Whoa, girl, you need to slow down. You're gonna get a tummy ache. No! I need to eat everything inside Starbucks. Well, everything that $9 will buy. Nom, 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 nom. This is Starbucks. It's not gonna really buy that much. You need like a cookie and a half a cupcake. Fine! Give me the half a cupcake! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Oh. How am I gonna tell my baby sister I don't have a present? What is that? Ugh. It's a, it's a, a doll? Man, that looks like it's been out here a while. It's all dirty and tattered, but maybe I could give it some love. Clean it up some and give it to my sister for her birthday. I mean, a doll is a doll, right? I think she'll love it. Oh, I think, I think she'll really like you. At least I hope she does. If not, I don't have another birthday present for baby Kira. Ow! I'm gonna call you Susie. Susie Q. Aww. Okay, Susie Q. Time to get you cleaned up so I can give you to my sister for her birthday. You probably haven't had a bath in, well, smell like about 10 years. <laughs> yeah. I just can't believe someone abandoned you. You need love too, even if you are, well, a little bit ugly. Hopefully, I can get all the dirt off of you. Or at least make you smell better. <laughs> Oh, I know. I'll use some of Daisy's really expensive shampoo. I'm sure she won't mind. I mean, it is for a good cause, baby Kira's birthday and all. I can't believe my sister bought this. I mean, I know it was expensive and all, but this bottle of shampoo looks, well, ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, um, here you go, Susie Q. 
let's uh, just put some of this in here. Try to get all of that yucky dirt out of your hair. Five minutes later. That didn't seem to work at all. You still look, well, ugly. Hopefully my sister baby Kira doesn't think so. Because her birthday's in five minutes and, well, I don't have any other choice. You have to be good enough, Susie Q, doll. I hope baby Kira can see past your, well, creepy look. Ah! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kira. My mom always has to make the song so beautiful. Aww. Happy birthday to you. Long at the zoo. I don't need to like make my song pretty at all. I always make mine silly and kind of well crazy. Well, that goes with your personality then, Molly. Okay, who's ready for promotions? I got presents I want. Molly, did you get your sister a present? Of course I did. Be right back. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't have time to wrap it. Um, and also I didn't have enough money for wrapping paper, but I put it in a box. Oh, I got big present. I love it. Okay, everybody, I'm Snapchatting this, so make sure you say happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby Kira. You're the cutest little sister in the world. I know, right? She really is cute. Look at her with her little passy. Give me plenty. Baby Kira, say please. That's not nice. You might not want it anyway, baby Q. It might be like a half-eaten chocolate chip cookie. Hey, who wouldn't want a half-eaten chocolate chip cookie for their birthday? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> it's just so sad your dad is on a work trip. Ah, <sighs> but he'll see this on Snapchat. Yeah, we miss you, Dad! Okay, baby Kira, open up the box. Open it, open it! I, I can't wait to open it. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> it's a... It's a... Oh, I think it's adorable. Um, yeah, okay. I love it. <laughs> what? Thank you, you, I love it. You do? Well, she's not perfect, but she needs a home, and you could be her mommy. Oh. Let's be friends. <laughs> she talks. I never heard that she talked before. I didn't even replace her batteries. I'm so glad it didn't get ruined in the bath. Well, um, as long as baby Kira loves that doll. I agree with mom. She's a little bit weird looking. She's just old, okay? And she needs a mommy. She needs somebody to love her. That could be you, baby Kira. I love her. I want her. I can see my birthday doll. I named her Susie. Susie Q. I love it. Hi, Susie Q. Let's be friends. Okay, we be friends. Hey, everybody. I just got done celebrating my baby sister's um, birthday and I really bought her well I didn't buy her I actually found this doll she really loved it though um, even though my mom and sister thought it was kind of creepy hey hey over there who's on the background of my snapchat all right I'm just gonna turn it around and see what is going on right now hey where did that come from I, I don't know where I am I'm like confused on my snapchat there she is um, why is somebody hopping over my fence? All right, guys, I'll see you later. I gotta find out who this is. Hello? Oh, hi. Um, my parents just bought the house next door to you. I'm Hannah. Oh, hey, Hannah. I'm Molly. Um, I think we're gonna be in the same grade together, and I was wondering if you wanted to, like, hang out? Yeah, sure. Come on in. The door's over here into the fence. Okay, be right there. Whoa, I'm gonna make a new friend today. It's gonna be awesome. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Hannah. I'm Molly. Um, what are you doing? Open your door, silly. <laughs> I thought maybe I had a dog or something. I don't want him to get out. Good point. I always forget to do that. Ow! Whoa, your backyard is so amazing. OMG. Oh, sorry, I have the hiccups. <laughs> I just drank a huge glass of lemonade. Ooh, jealous. That sounds delicious. So, um, tell me about yourself. Where'd you come from? Oh, Malibu. Whoa. Fancy! Yeah, but I'm really liking this new town. Everybody seems so nice. Whoa, what was that sound? Um, it was my stomach. Sorry, I think I ate too much birthday cake. I'll be right back, okay? Sure, no problem. I'll wait here for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Hope you guys the door wasn't locked. <laughs> Where did that doll come from? I don't remember that being in Molly's yard. It's kind of creepy, but it's probably hers or her sister's or something. Hmm, it looks like it's gonna rain soon. Maybe I should take you inside so you don't get ruined more than you already are. Let's Ah! What's wrong with that doll? Oh, why did I eat so much cake? Such a bad idea. Such a bad idea! Uh-oh. Should have even slunge her for that one. <laughs> yeah. Hannah, I'm back. Let's hang out some more. Hannah? Hannah? Oh. Either one of two things has happened. One, I spent too much time in the potty and she left. <laughs> or two, she didn't really like me and she left. <gasps> oh. Hey. What's Baby Kira's doll doing out here? It looks like it's gonna rain soon. Ugh, Baby Kira must have left her out here. Come on, Susie Q. I bet Baby Kira's wondering where you are. I don't know why Hannah just ran away from me. She, like, disappeared. I thought she could be my friend, but I guess she just didn't want to be. Oh, hey, Molly. Why, why are you frowning? Did you have a bad day after baby Kira's birthday? She loved the doll, honey. No worries about only having a few dollars to buy her birthday present. Mom, no. This new neighbor, Hannah, came to hang out with me, and I had to run in and go to the bathroom, and when I came back, she just disappeared. Or maybe she got a call from her mom and had to go home. I'm sure it wasn't because of you, Molly. You're a really good friend. You're probably right. Thanks, Mom. Love you, sweetheart. Have a great night's sleep. Thanks, Mom. Let's be friends. What? What? Why is that doll going off right now? I could have swore that I turned her off. Let's be friends. Why am I so freaked out right now and scared? It's just a dumb doll. Besides, she's just old. She's probably broken so her off button doesn't work. I bet baby Kira is missing you, Susie Q. Come on, I'll put you in her bed with her. Oh, baby Kira, I hope you had the best birthday ever. I need to stop being so silly about that doll. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> This morning. Oh, maybe she's already out there waiting for me. Molly, are you out here? Molly! Where did she go? Oh, I bet she went to Starbucks to get some coffee. Hey, are those feet I see hanging out below the, the bushes? Oh my god! Why is there somebody in our bushes sleeping? Molly? <sighs> Oh my god! 
Are you kidding me? You okay, Panda? I think so. I just have a little bit of a headache from the bonk. Marley, are you okay? Should I call 911? No, I'm okay, but we need to get rid of that doll. And quick. Yeah, and we should Snapchat it all so that no one ever tries to adopt that doll ever again. I'm really sorry I brought it into our house. I didn't know. It wasn't your fault, Marley. How could you know? I think we should, like, take the doll out into the woods and bury it six feet deep. <laughs> good idea, Marley. Goodbye and good readings. Whoa, there's way too much drama in this neighborhood. I'm sorry, but good luck. We can't be <coughs> friends. Wait, what? Hannah? Oh, she jumped over the fence. She was totally freaked out, and I don't think she wants to be our friend anymore. Ugh. Hey, guys. It's Molly. A Daisy. We're making this Snapchat way now because, well, there's a creepy, evil doll that has moved into our house. It really wasn't my fault. I didn't know. Well, um, you brought it home, but yeah, you didn't know. Oh, my God. We have to get rid of it, guys, but we wanted to make this Snapchat so you knew the doll was evil. Do not dig it up. Oh, wait, Molly. Let's go get it from Baby Kira and bury it six feet deep in the woods. Good idea. Baby Kira, put that doll down right now! I'm not moving you. Let's be friends. Let's yeah. not, evil psycho doll. Why are you talking to me about my doll? Not, not, not. Yeah. Girls, be nice to your sister. Uh oh. Well, we will, Mom. Baby Kira, listen to me. That doll bonked me over the head and chased me with a knife and threw me in the bushes along with the new neighbor, Hannah. Well, now if we did it, I double your pranking me. Let's be friends. Psycho doll, be quiet! Quit talking to my doll like that. I love her. I love her. Do you love her as much as... Ice cream? It's your favorite watermelon. Ooh, watermelon. <sighs> Creepy evil doll. Time to bury it. Wow, wow Molly, that sounded kind of crazy. You want to sound a little less psycho? I mean, the doll's a psycho one, boy. Okay, D you're not really alive. You're just evil. And we're about to dare bury you in the dirt. Let's be friends. Yeah, okay, psycho. I don't think so. Get in, Molly. Don't take your eye off that psycho doll. Don't worry, Daisy. I won't. Should we listen to some music? I've got some Halloween songs. Aw, uh, Daisy! No, this is creepy enough. We don't need the Halloween songs. Ow! You sure? I think it could kind of lend to the ambiance. Daisy! What? It's a creepy Snapchat movie. We need creepy tunes. Daisy, what are we doing here? I thought we said the woods. Yeah, but I think the cemetery is creepy. Okay, my sister wants to make this as creepy as possible. So, um, yeah, let's grab our shovels. Okay, you dig while I Snapchat this. Molly, we nope. both have to dig. There's a lot of dirt here. Oh, gosh. You're right. This is way too much work. The evil doll's just gonna have to live with us. What? Molly, quit being so lazy and keep digging. Uh, is the hole deep enough yet? Not quite, Molly. Keep digging. Hey, guys, it's me, Molly, again. And my sister and I are in the graveyard. We just dug a giant hole, and we're about to drop this evil Let's Be Friends doll inside of it. Guys, whatever you do, do not dig up this doll! Molly, it's time. Let's do this. You see, that was the last of the dirt. Good. She's six feet under now. See you later, evil, evil doll. Let's see if we can say Let's Be Friends. Daisy, I don't hear anything. Perfect! She's gone! Now come on, let's go home. I need some lemonade. You're speaking my language, Daisy. Daisy, what's up with the creepy music? We buried the doll! Sorry, it was still on from when we were driving over here. Is this music better? Yes, absolutely! Remind me never to pick up a creepy broken doll on the way from Starbucks again. Yeah, Molly. Don't ever do that again, please. Well, I guess it's time to go to bed. Daisy? 
Yes, Molly, what is it? Um, uh, are you too afraid to sleep by yourself, Molly? Uh, yeah, me too. Wanna sleep in my room with me? Yeah, what if that creepy doll comes back? No way, Molly. That doll is history. Ugh, I hope so. It is, Molly. It is. And uh, we'll be here together. Yeah, feeling much safer now. Good morning, Molly! Oh, what? Where's the doll? Where's the doll? Molly, there is no doll. We got rid of her, and we survived the whole night. It never came back. We're rid of that doll forever. Thank goodness everybody in town is, too. Yeah, you could say that again. Phew. So relieved. Day. Oh, I can't wait to open it. Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome. I'm so excited. I know you're going to love this. Say cheese, honey. You're on Snapchat. Cheese. Wait, that's not the doll I ordered from Amazon. What is that creepy thing? Let's be friends. And Daisy and I want to show you this amazing fan video that we found on YouTube. And today's video is going to be based on this fan art. It says Molly and Daisy, but they're evil twins, Polly and Maisie. Bam, bam, bam. Oh my God, this is amazing. Ah! Oh my gosh. Polly is so creepy. Look at Maisie. Whoa. I like my little pumpkin barrette. Yeah, it's adorable. Until you turn into that. <laughs> awesome artwork. Shout out to Maria. We love it. And today's video is going to be based on your fan art. Molly, are you feeling okay? Not really. That Starbucks we got, it upset my stomach really bad. But it's making me feel kind of sleepy. That's just happening because you ate too much, Molly. I hardly ate anything. All I had was one muffin, one sandwich, and two lattes. Ollie, that's a lot of food. So that's what I normally eat. Oh, I don't feel so good. Maybe a good night's sleep will make you feel better, Molly. I hope so. Oh. See you next, Melman. was poison! What? What are you talking about, Molly? This is a terrible plague. Why are we put in this jail cell? I don't know, but help! Help! Meanwhile... Well, Polly, it seems that I've hacked into their bank accounts. Perfect, Maisie. I hear their mom coming. Come on, pretend you're asleep. Okay, but, but I'm still uncracking all of the bank accounts. Well, do it after she wakes us up. We're already awake. Maisie! Just trust me on this. Girls, come on. It's time to wake up. I thought maybe we could go school shopping today. We could take Brookie along if you want. Go away. Well, Molly, that's not very nice. Whoa, do you have pink eye? What's going on with your eyes? No, my eyes are just fine. I just stayed up too late, so they're a little red. Whoa, Daisy, your eyes look red too. I think you guys need to see the eye doctor. I think you both might have pink eye. Our eyes are fine, lady. Whoa, lady? I was your mama just last night. Now all of a sudden I'm just lady? Would a lady make you breakfast? Pancakes? Sorry, mom. Yeah, we'll eat your crummy pancakes. What has gotten into you? Nothing, mom. She's fine. Maisie, pull it together before she figures out that we're not Molly and Daisy. Oh, sorry, mom. I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. No problem. Everybody has difficult mornings. Now come on. 
on, let's go eat breakfast. Molly, I know how much you love extra peanut butter on your pancakes with a little bit of syrup, so that's exactly how I made them for you. Ew, pancakes with syrup and peanut butter? You love peanut butter, what are you talking about? Not on my pancakes, that's disgusting. Molly, are you feeling okay? You love to have peanut butter and then syrup. It's like your favorite. Ew. Gross, Mom. Okay, well, I guess you're growing up now and you don't like the same things. It just seems kind of weird to me. Okay, Mom, well, can you leave us alone now? Hey, Polly, you're supposed to like the same things as Molly, remember? You're gonna give us away. Oh, yeah, true. Um, hey, we're gonna go play with our best friend. Wait, what's her name? Um, Brookie? Yeah, we're gonna go play with her and then when we come back, can we go school shopping? Sure, but only be a couple of hours, girls, okay? Because I'm gonna do some laundry and clean up the house a bit and then we're gonna leave, okay? Okay, fine. Come on, let's go. The pressure to be exactly like Molly around this lady is driving me crazy. Who's that? I don't know, but oh, I hope she doesn't run into us. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, hi, do we know you? We don't talk to strangers. <laughs> you are being so silly right now, Molly. Apparently, she knows who we are. Um, did you guys both get bonks on the head? Uh, it's me, Brookie. Oh, Brookie! Our best friend? Yeah, our best friend, yeah. What do we like to do, Brookie? You girls are acting really, really weird. What's up with your eyes? They're so red. Do you guys have pink eye or something? No, we just have red eyes, okay? Leave it alone already. Now, what should we do for fun? Um, well, you guys like to ride bikes, right? So uh, I could ride my skateboard. You could ride bikes. Perfect. Now, where's my bike? Molly, you keep it locked in the garage for safekeeping. Remember? Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, Molly, what's Daisy doing? I'm going to take Dad's motorcycle. Riding bikes is boring. She doesn't even know how to ride a motorcycle. Of course I do. Not knowing how to ride a motorcycle is lame. Well, you heard her. She wants to ride a motorcycle. Um, you guys are acting really strange today. I think maybe I'll go home. No, don't go home. Then we gotta hang out with that lady inside, and I don't want to. You mean your mom? Did she make you pancakes for breakfast? Yeah, why? Well, then maybe you should be nicer to her. I mean, she always makes you something delicious for breakfast, and... I'm back! Who wants to ride on my Harley? I will! Sounds fun! See you later, Brookie, since you don't want to hang out with us. Um, okay! Wow, those guys are acting so weird. Um, let's get out of here, Maisie. I cannot stand being around these people anymore. Maybe we could go rob a bank or something. Hey, uh, low profile? Duh. We're supposed to be taking over Molly and Daisy's life, not making everyone think that we're bad guys. Exactly. Wait, why are we trying to take over their lives? So we have a pre free place to stay. Pancakes every morning. Yeah, that's true. That sounds like the good life to me, but I still want to rob the bank. Oh, this Maisie, she is so annoying. Okay, well, all right, I'm taking the motorcycle. Have fun. Hey, get back here. Oh, man, I don't have any money, and I want Starbucks. I'm starving. Well, good thing I've solved that problem. What? Maisie, look at all that cash. You didn't want me to rob the bank, but you sure want to use my money when you need something from Starbucks. Well, she does have a point. <laughs> well, 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 who do we have here? Two losers, Molly and Daisy. I don't know who you think you are, but you've come to Molly and Daisy. Yeah, that's who. On the wrong day. What, loser? What are you saying? I'm saying that shirt is so last season and it makes me want to throw up along with your face. What? What'd you just say? Yeah, why are you always bullying everybody? Obviously, you're not even that good at it. What? What? And your shoes are gross. It looks like you stepped in dog poop in them. Yeah. Ugly. That's what you are. Yeah, I'm gonna spray it with this fire extinguisher. <laughs> Get out of here, bully! Oh my god, I don't know what happened to Molly and Daisy, but they're the worst bullies, even worse than me! <laughs> go. This was amazing, Polly. Yeah, good job, Maisie. I don't know who that bully was, but apparently we got rid of her real fast. Girls, there you are. You've been gone for hours and hours and hours. I told you to come back in two hours so we could go school clothes shopping. Well, it looks like it didn't make any difference to you. You're still doing dishes. Well, th that's not the point. I told you to come back in two hours. Ah, fine. Well, at least I made you each bean burritos. You know, I thought you'd be hungry. Wow, that's cool, lady. Why are you guys calling me lady? I'm your mom. Now go sit down. You can eat your bean burritos. Okay. 
Does she even know that I don't really like bean burritos? Must be Molly really likes them. Well, Molly, that's your second bean burrito and, well, nothing's happening. What should happen? Except for the fact it's giving me heartburn. Heartburn? No, 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 no. You haven't even farted. Not even one time. Huh, what? No, I never fart from bean burritos. What? I have my gas meter out and, and no gas has come out of you at all. You're an imposter. Where's Molly? What? What are you talking about? You are not my daughter. Where is she? Daisy, we're never going to get out of here. Don't say that, Molly. Someone will eventually figure out that we're down here. What's that delicious smell? Smells like... Smells like mom's making bean burritos. Oh boy, huh, we're missing bean burritos. Smells so good. Ew, mom, he was stuck in the same prison cell. Why'd you do that? Because if I even smell a bean burrito, I fart. Somebody help! I'm stuck down here and it smells really bad. Dr. Barker for seeing us today. Now, Molly, tell him what your symptoms are. I don't want it. Molly, what's well, embarrassing? <sighs> Molly has been having some tummy troubles. Oh, I see. What kind of tummy troubles, Molly? Like the stomach bug or? Actually, she's been having a lot of gas <gasps> and running to the bathroom. Mom, this is humiliating. Molly, he's a doctor. It's totally fine. You probably just need to have an x-ray of your tummy or an ultrasound, and then they'll just give you some medicine and you'll feel all better. You don't want your stomach to hurt anymore, do you? Ugh. I think it's a really good idea, Molly, for you to go in and have an ultrasound and an x-ray just to make sure there's nothing going on with your tummy, okay? Fine, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah. See, doctor? She definitely needs to be here. Hey, a little fart now and again isn't going to kill anybody. Oh, I don't know. That one just might. Okay, get in the x-ray machine and let's close the door quick before I die of s the smell. Oh, very funny, doctor. Very funny. Okay, Molly, I just need you to lie completely still. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back in the room and we'll have a little discussion with your mom. Fine. I hate going to the doctor, seriously. Sometimes coming to the doctor is necessary to keep you healthy. And it seems to me that you most definitely are lactose intolerant. What? What does that mean? It means you're allergic to milk and milk products. You can't have cheese or milk or what? I love cheese, especially on tacos and on soup mm. and on salads when you make me eat a salad, which is annoying, except for the cheese. I can't eat cheese anymore. Um, I'm really sorry, Molly, but you also can't have any um, ice cream. Ah, this is the worst day of my life. Take it back. I don't want to be lactose intolerant. Please, doctor. I'll give you anything. I'll give you a million dollars. I don't have a million dollars, but please take it back. I'm sorry. It's the diagnosis. It's how your body works. You can learn to live with it. You can have almond ice cream. Almonds? Now, how on earth do they make almonds into ice cream? Ew! Now, remember, Molly, what the doctor said. No more milk products or your tummy will really hurt. Uh-oh! This stinks! I know, Molly, but I'll try to pick up some new things at the store that you can try out, and um, they should be pretty good, I'm hoping. Ugh. Ugh this lousy apple tastes so healthy. Oh, I just want to eat something delicious like pizza. Ugh. Hey, Molly, what's up? How'd your doctor appointment go? I guess it was fine. Oh, wow. Let's turn your phone upside down. My treat. We could go get ice cream. Wait, um, what? Yeah, my treat. We could get your favorite strawberry. Mmm. Um, uh, well, um, sure, why not? Yeah, you hesitated there, Molly. Are you sure that it'll be okay with your tummy and everything? It'll be just fine with my tummy. I'll make it fine with my tummy. Okay, let's go. Mm. This ice cream's delicious. Tell me about it. Mint chocolate chip is one of my favorites. So, Molly, did they tell you what was wrong with your tummy at the doctor? Um, uh, not really. Everything's just fine. 
Oh, that's good, Molly. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just processing my ice cream, okay? All right, Molly, you don't have to get so rude about it. Mm, they really do have the best ice cream. Yes, yeah, sweetest in Brookhaven. Uh-oh. I don't feel so good. Why did I eat that ice cream yesterday? Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly, how are you? Whoa, Molly, are you all right? It looks like you're gonna, like, faint or barf. I know. My stomach is kind of being weird. Uh, Molly, you don't think it's from that ice cream, do you? No, I'm sure it's not from that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, class, everybody settle down. Wow, it looks like a lot of people are out today. Must be the flu bug again. I think Molly might have the <gasps> flu. No, I don't. I'm fine. I swear, I'm fine. Molly, are you sure you're not in denial about what the doctor said? I'm fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I feel like I have to fart, but I can't do it in class. That'll be so embarrassing. Oh, why? Why me? Oh, well, good morning, Logan. Thank you for joining us. Oh, no. There's Logan. I hope he doesn't notice that my stomach's being weird. Whoa, well, Molly, why are you such a funny color? Do you have to, like, fart or something? <laughs> what? No, I don't have to fart. No, I don't have to fart. Oh, what is going on with my stomach? Come on, stomach. Work with me here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she actually drank me. I know, and now I get to exist once again. What kind of fart should I send her? Silent but deadly? <laughs> I'll embarrass her in front of everybody in the classroom. Thanks to you, Milk. We really do make a good team, don't we, Gas? <laughs> we should. Should I send her a silent but deadly? Or should I make it so loud the entire school blows up <gasps> with a fart? <laughs> oh, what's going on with my stomach right now? Molly, don't fart. D -d -d don't do it. Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> she can't hold me in forever. I'm about to burst onto the scene and make a party. A farty party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gas, you're so funny. What's this? I can just move around a lot in here? <laughs> Her tummy will be bubbling all over the place. <laughs> oh, wait. Who's that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. You spoil all the fun. Step aside, Gas. The big boss is here. Oh, man. You spoil all the fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, teacher... Teacher, teacher, teacher! Yes, Molly, what is it? I have to go potty. Right now, right now! Molly, you always say you have to go to the bathroom and then you never come back to class. You skip class and say that you have to go to the bathroom. Not today. We have a quiz and I actually need you to pass it so you don't have to repeat this grade again. No, 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 no. I know a lot of other times I was just fibbing about having to go to the bathroom, but this time I really do! Let me go to the bathroom. Seriously, please, 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 please. Um, teacher, I don't think Molly is kidding around. I'm not kidding around! Let me go! Molly, do I need to give you detention? Uh-oh! Can't hold it in! I can't, 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 can't hold it in! Ah! Dude, she's gonna blow! subscribed yet please subscribe we're almost to a million subscribers <laughs> do, 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 do. oh my gosh look at baby robbie back here oh uh, you guys know i want to be baby robbie how much is it 199 robux worth it let's do this guys omg watch me transform into baby robbie 
Um, alright, I already, I already bought that though. Uh, is it gonna morph? What? Did it, did it not work? Did it steal my 199 Robux? No, no, no! Oh my god, guys! I'm huge! Ah, I'm gonna get you all! <laughs> Look at my eyes! Um, I might want to see an eye doctor. I'm having some problems. Oh, Molly, you have a stinky diaper! <laughs> <laughs> I pooped my diaper! Molly, we have to find seven bears to open this secret door. I'm baby Robbie. I can just walk through there. <laughs> no, you actually can't, Molly. You have to find seven of these bears. Fine. I'll find seven bears, and then... I am going to open that secret door. All right, I need a crowbar for there. And also, I need 15 candies. I have to collect everything. Oh, I love these kinds of mazes. They're super, super fun. Look at that, a teddy bear and a bunny. Oh, wow, I'm doing really good. Okay, one, one um, teddy bear. Holy guacamole, guys, I thought this was an obby. Turns out, no, it is not an obby. It's like a piggy escape game, I think. Yeah, Molly, but um, baby Robbie is coming near you. So if I were you, I would move on out of there. But but I'm gonna get another teddy bear right about now. Oh, he was too afraid of me. That other baby Robbie was like, what? There's another baby Robbie? Yes! I am another big baby Robbie. And I have a big stinky diaper. Whoa, more candy! Hello. Ah! Oh my gosh! The baby Robbie looks evil! Look at that, guys. It's like zombie baby Robbie. Look at that. Ah! They're crawling all creepy and stuff. Daisy! Hi, baby Bobby. I mean, Molly. Um, so far, I only found two teddy bears. Nine, five, three. Let me in here. Nine, five, three. Um, go. Wait, it says it's right. Incorrect. Whatever. I'm just a baby. How am I supposed to know where to go? <laughs> There's another teddy bear. Do, 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 do. All right, guys, so far I've picked up three of the teddy bears out of seven. And I'm hoping I can find some more. Let's go in here. Uh, okay, where am I? Oh, I'm back where I was before. This is confusing! This daycare is so confusing! And I have a dirty diaper again! Guys, look, I have a pencil that goes, like, right through my brain from one ear to the other. That cannot be good. I'm just saying. There's that evil, evil, evil one. The evil Robbie. All right, guys. I need to find a... What? That's a huge... Ah! It's a huge baby Robbie zombie. Robot or something. Ah, he's creepy. Get him away from me. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. I'm going to collect this teddy bear if it's the last thing I do. Yay! Uh-oh. I am not safe right now. Definitely not. All right, I think I escaped that creepy baby Robbie. There's so many baby Robbies running around here. I don't know. Who is who? What's going on? OMG, guys. I just found... I think this is a gear. I just found one of the gears. And I can't run any faster because I'm a baby. Ah! Um, I don't know where this gear goes, though. I just need to get back to the safe zone. Oh my gosh, I'm so lost. Oh, that one's locked. Okay, I need a key for that, but let's go find where this blue gear goes. All right, guys, I just also found the blue key. Ah, no, get away from me. I'm doing so good right now. Oh my God, guys, I actually found the blue door. Yay, woohoo. Ooh, I got a piece of candy for that. <laughs> so I got a piece of candy. I found the blue door. Where's this going to be? All right, guys. I have no idea where I am. Oh, it's to the green door. Okay. Oh, these games are so hard. I'm going to make it happen, though. What? Oh, the balloons pop, too? I have a big, fat baby. How am I supposed to get across here? All right, there's a red door. What's in there? I want to see. More candy and some other cool stuff. Ah! 
Oh, wait, look, I can go through here because I have a blue key. There is a crowbar, guys. I just found the crowbar and more candy. Anything else good in here? Oh, there's a... What is that? Oh, it's a little Fighting Nemo toy. That's adorable. I'm just making sure there's nothing else in here, guys, that I missed, but I don't see anything. So, I have the crowbar, which means I can go back now. Ah! Ah! Okay, I made it. Phew. I can go back now and use the crowbar. Oh, it took me back to the safe zone. Bum, 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 bum. All right, I know now where I can use the crowbar. Cool. Which, wait, which way did I go out to get to the crowbar? That's the question. I think it was this way. I think. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering how to get to things when I'm in games like this because they just seem like everything looks the same. And I know they do that just to trick you guys, but I'm doing pretty good. I have not heard from Daisy. I think baby Robbie may have gotten her. I don't know. No, nope, I'm still here, Molly, but barely. This game is harder than it looks. It sure is. And I'm so slow because I'm this baby, so I'm just like crawling like mega slow. Now, where was that platform that went up to the crowbar section? I know it was around here somewhere. Ah! Oh! There's the zombie baby Robbie. Bah! If it gets too close to you, it just like tries to kill you. Obviously. But that baby is a zombie baby and it crawls really slow, so. Guys, I don't know where I'm going. Ugh! One eternity later. And there's the creepy zombie baby. Alright, that was a dead end, guys. Let's go back this way. Let's see if I can go around this way to the red door. Red door! Where are you? <gasps> there you are, red door! find you eventually oh candy yes i'll pick you up thank you very much we right, have six candies now guys six candies what is that thing omg it looks like kryptonite is this a place on the table is that what i'm supposed to do um okay did it work is this place on the table It's just kind of like making me frozen there. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to, I think I'm supposed to find all of these shapes. I want to place this here, but it won't let me. Okay, look, guys. Here's the other shapes. Pick up. And let's put it up here. Dun, 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 dun. I think it worked. All right, now we have to go find the blue circle. I think that's up here, guys. Holy guacamole. Oh, look at that bacon hair prisoner. Poor guy. I wonder what he's in the big house for. I'm just checking it out up here, guys. I'm trying to see. Oh, there's another bacon hair. They're like cloning bacon hairs here. Look, there's another one. Now let's go put this on the table and see what happens. I think I still have to pick up that green piece, though, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. See, it's like, like, it's too close. I don't understand how to pick this piece up. Did I already? I can't really tell. Finally, I picked up the black, guys. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. It took me forever. There was like a little glitch in the game right there. And honestly... Oh, Daisy! Hi! You finally caught up to me in the game. Uh, yeah, Molly, and now I'm learning circles around you because I got all seven bears, and it makes you super fast. Well, I'm this big, silly baby, so I'm going to be, like, slow as can be. And I don't know what doing all those shapes did, but OMG, it opened up some stuff. I figured it might, guys. I figured it might. All right. Oh, I got some potion. What's that do? A red flask with red fluid. Bum, 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 bum. All right, Molly. Let's get out of here. Ah, better. All right, I still have three more bears to find before I can actually get super speed. And what? There is big baby Robbie. 
OMG, this is crazy. I've got this red flask and this green key. I don't know where any of these things are. I'm just doing my best, guys. I think I'm doing pretty good. If you guys think so too, slam the like button. These games are actually really difficult, but I like figuring them out. So, let's just follow along the green wall. Maybe the green wall will lead us to the green key. Or, I mean, the green door. Then I can use the green key. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh my gosh, what's all that stuff down there? Oh, there's a teddy bear. Yay! Oh god, there's big baby Robbie. I better just duck into the safe zone really quick. All right, I'm in, guys. Did he get out? Okay, good. Ah, no, he's like right behind me again. Ah, no! Did he get me? Oh, I hope not. Okay, wait, can I go through that blue door? Yes, I can. Let's go. Ah, get off me! Whoa! That made me feel kind of like I was going crazy. All right, where'd this lead? Guys, there is a green door in here, and there's a red door that I haven't unlocked yet. Look at this. It's like someone's birthday party. I just got the hammer, and I want a party hat. Can I have a party hat? What's that? Ooh, candy. All right, I don't see anything else in here. Oh, it's a Huggy Wuggy doll. Huggy Wuggy was a blue fuzzy fuzzy. Guys, if you haven't heard our Huggy Wuggy song, make sure you guys go to the um, So Geeky channel. You can hear our Huggy Wuggy song. You guys will love it. I'm going to go over and use this red door. Ah! Oh, look at that. More candy. My favorite thing in the whole world. Don't tell my mom, though. <laughs> Um, all right. Is that all that was in there was a piece of candy? I think it was, guys. I don't see any more teddy bears or anything like that. Oh, wait a minute. What? All right. I've got... What's that? Oh, a blue fat flask and a red one. And now... Um, I already went through the blue door, so I don't think I need to go through there again. Whoa! <laughs> I think I have a propeller on my head. I think I got everything in this room. Yeah, I came in here. Because, guys, remember that giant, like, I don't know what that is. A raccoon or something? I don't know. I'm walking so slow. Wait, it's saying that there's still something in that red room, I think. What did I miss in there? Or is that on the other side of the wall? I can't tell. No, it's definitely on the other side of the wall, guys. Oh, look at me! I'm outside the game. I'm outside the game. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Staring longingly at the portal to leave. And, 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 and then this giant crazy baby is chasing me. Ah! No! No! You will not eat me, baby. You will not. Uh-oh, better crawl in here. And quick! Woo! That saved my diaper tail. <laughs> is he gone, guys? Is the coast clear? Look at this, guys. It's some sort of electrical wire. I wonder what will happen when I push this. Should I, guys? All right, I am. <laughs> it turns something on. I'm not really sure what, but I think if we follow this electrical line, maybe we'll find out. Oh, another teddy bear at the end of the game when I don't need super speed anymore. <laughs> well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Wait a minute. Why won't it let me push any of these buttons? Hmm, it obviously opens this door. Oh, those were just the lights to tell me which ones were left. <laughs> oh, that was so ignoramus of me because here are the buttons that I need to press. And there's got to be one more somewhere along this circuit. All right. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. What's that? You can unlock that? What do you get if you unlock it? Whoa, no, Marty, don't go down there. Wait, Daisy, is that you? Yes, I already won the game. But don't go down there because there's a giant... It's a trap! There's a giant baby Bobby down there. And he will annihilate you! Thanks for the tip, Daisy. Having a sister is sometimes annoying, but also sometimes useful. Whatever, Molly. I'm always useful. Ah, well, why didn't you tell me that baby was about to eat me? Oh, I'm back as myself. But now I can get super speed. <sighs> okay, well, this is working out okay, I guess. Um, here's my super speed. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm so fast now. Whoa, whoa, get away from me. You can't catch me. I have no idea if I'm going the right way, though. <laughs> I'm just running for my life. 
Guys, if you want to know, it's 395. And oh, it's a conveyor belt in here. This must be where they make all the candy. Guys, should I go in here? I'm not sure I should. Okay, it won't let me. What is this about? Guys, I don't know what's going on in here. I was hoping there'd be a piece of candy in here. Oh, look, it's a gears. Oh, I have to put the missing gears and I have them. Bum, 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 bum. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Wait, what? They're making, oh ah, my gosh, what was that about? Uh-oh, this couldn't be good. Oh, I just got a badge. You fell into the abyss award. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Let's do that again. I want to fall into the abyss again. Daisy, what are you doing? You said this was dangerous. Let's go in the basement. Show that but Robbie, who's boss. Um, I don't like this so much. What happened down here? Ah, Daisy! D I got eaten! Oh my gosh, Daisy, are you serious right now? And, and now I'm in jail? Okay, retry. <laughs> Why do I listen to my sister? She always has the worst ideas. All right, guys, now that I'm back here, you guys know I'm going to be baby Robbie so that I can show you what it's like when he crawls really fast. And he doesn't crawl really fast. So I'm resetting my character because that is lame. There, I said it. Sorry, but lame. It won't let me reset my character. All right, now I'm going to crawl to the exit mega slow. Yay. One eternity later. And... Whoa, where am I? Buddy, I know this isn't the ending that you had hoped for. Um, yeah, considering this is creepy, it looks like it's going to bring more of these guys to life. Buddy, I think we have to give them th th the formulas, the potions. Oh, let's see. Pour liquid. This is too weird. Too weird. Okay, got it. And bum 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 bum. Now what? Now we have to press the go button. Don't say I didn't warn you. You got this, Molly. I believe in you. Well, Daisy, that makes one of us. But I'll tell you something, Daisy. I'm never gonna give up and I'm never gonna surrender because I can do anything. If you put your mind to it, woo woo woo, you can do it. Um, then they come faster at the end, though. How is that fair? Whoa! Bang! Oh, I was doing so good! Okay, you can have 29 more of my Robux, and then I'm done. I'm so done with you. <laughs> now, guys, I need you to slam the like button if you haven't already. And hit the subscribe button, okay, guys? We love our fans, and we make super fun Roblox games. Oh, no, DZ died, too. <gasps> okay, where's the first one gonna come out of? Yeah! Goodbye! Where's the next one? Bye! Bye. Next one. Bye. 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 Uh oh. There's too many. Ah. Oh. Guys, I can't beat this game. I tried. I really tried. Are you giving up, Molly? No. But right now, I need to go eat a piece of pizza because I'm starving. And I'll see you guys next time.